Oh no. We did have an issue last last week where uh for some reason uh Well Discord crashed like an hour ago, so I mean not Discord, it? it was it was Twitch. Twitch didn't uh oh. Oh, registered that we were online, even though OBS said we were streaming, but oh, apparently we're live, so we're good. <laughs> it happens See sometimes. Chat. Hey, everyone, welcome to the Unexpectables. Well, one uh, second, I'm getting oh. Streamlabs up, doesn't count yet. Uh, oh, yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, so, so, okay. So, so Taka is the only one who can be charisma driven. Okay, I see how this is. Uh, I, I, well, no, hold dude, on one dude, second. Dude, dude, uh, dude. it's not showing anything coming up today. Yeah, we just started. Oh, okay. It's <laughs> <laughs> not even follows. Oh. Damn, we're not popular anymore. That's okay. Damn. We, had a, we had a good run. We I knew this day run. would come. <laughs> uh, hey, Monty, where can they find you? Wow, <laughs> right out the gate. Okay. Yeah, I just get it over with, Nadine. Just... <laughs> okay. Uh, you can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter, where I will be posting art and stuff. I actually got a new character today that I really, really want to draw because he's very cute. Um, but uh, you can also find me at twitch.tv sword slash Monty Glue, where tomorrow it's very important. Uh, it is the first streamed session of me playing Devil May Cry Blind for the first time ever. I've never played the series, I don't know really anything about the series besides what little bits that Connor has told me. Oh so, if you want to oh. see me react to Devil May Cry, um, definitely check that out. We're going through one, three. We're I'm following what, what one, three, Connor recommends. One three four five. We're gonna do one three four five. Um what Connor recommends. Uh and yeah, so definitely definitely check that out. I'm gonna be uploading that to my YouTube as well, but definitely definitely check it out live, uh, because it's probably gonna be <laughs> a good time. Uh and then it's gonna be a on, crazy party. On Sunday, uh we're gonna be doing a Pokemon XE Gale of Darkness. We're at the final area, and it's stupid. It is so the game is so backloaded because every trainer in the last area has like two or three shadow Pokemon. It's ridiculous. Um, so you know, if you want to see me tear my hair out, uh, because it gets really frustrating at this point, definitely come and check that out. It's been a lot of fun. So yeah. All righty. Hey, guys and Goomba, where can they oh. find you? Hey everyone, Gaijin Goomba here. You can find me at twitch.tv slash Gaijin Goomba. No H jokes. Ah, uh, boy, a lot of stuff. So, um, a week ago yesterday, I released my very first piece of homebrew, the Tanuki race, over on DM's Guild. It is now Electrum. So nice. thank you, guys. Thank you for Yay. buying my crap. Hold on, let me get my shotgun. I'm going to have to kill him. No, no, Zito, no. There can be two. <laughs> Zito, you can poison raccoons. It's fine. You don't need to shoot Ah, uh, yes, that's fair. So, uh, no, no. I owe a lot to Zito because he 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 was my my sempi in, in, in all of this, trying to get oh. it together. <laughs> You're welcome. I'll be your sempi. I'll be your nakamer. I'll be everything. Oh, so, God. just... Just, just, just to quickly reiterate what it is. Uh, it is a brand new race uh, ro uh, put together by Detect Balance, so you know it's balanced. There's a whole bunch of Tanuki folklore from all over Japan in that book, and there's a brand new spell, Mundane Polymorph, which is dumb fun. It's basically prop on the spell. Um, yeah, so thanks for that. Uh, let me see. Streaming wise, Taiko Tuesday as normal every Tuesday at uh, 7 p.m. US Central. Been a lot of fun. Saturday and Sunday, though, man, I'm kind of running out of crap. I might have to go back to some some uh, older games. Uh, aside from that, I'm working on a brand new uh, analysis video, another culture analysis video on Spirited Away, and I'm hoping that Studio Ghibli does not take it down. They can, <laughs> they can take... No. They can, <laughs> I don't care if they take the money. I really don't. I just want it to exist because it's not like YouTube really pays all that well anyway. So as long as it exists, I'm happy. YouTube. Oh, that millennial uh, website. Oh, oh God. God. <laughs> also, also really fast. Um, you can find myself and Connor tomorrow at Colonel Cherry's channel at, at twitch.tv slash Colonel Cherry for the shadows we cast where I play my homebrew race as a, a dumb, goofy bard. Uh, okay, I'm good. Does Ooh. he, does he play a shamisen? Oh, he plays a shamisen of Fui and his gut. But predominantly nice. the gut nice. and bone. Nice. I've also I've also critted like six dudes with, with 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 a lucky bag attack. So mm. I'll leave it at oh, that. Oh, uh, Connor, where can they find you? Well, they can find me on Twitter, TikTok, and Twitch at Distortion Devil, uh, where I do a bunch of shit posts. And uh, on Twitch, I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. I'm gonna be really quick because I have another huge announcement to make. Um, Tuesdays and uh, Tuesdays is 
RW slash Ring Fit Adventure. Friday is Friday Fun House, where I play a lot of games with my friends. Saturday is uh, Bayonetta. We'll be going through the Bayonetta series, and then we'll be moving on to a different series. And Sunday, I'm making some Devil May Cry 5 mods. We're working on a Wolfgang mod for, for Dante. And um, earlier this, uh, uh, earlier on Friday, before the art stream and everything else, um, I will be over on twitch.tv slash Deadhouse Sonata, D E A D H A U S Sonata. And uh, I will be talking with the good people at Apocalypse Studios who are developing a game, Dead House Sonata, which is the spiritual successor to the Legacy of Cain series, a series I hold near and dear to my heart. I would even go oh, as far yes. as to say it is the most important video game series in my life. Um, and I'm just, I'm, I'm really, I'm really happy to be supporting them. Uh, I recently got on board with them. Uh, I am officially affiliated with uh, Dead House Sonata, and I will be promoting them. And if you click the link that I just posted, you can go ahead and sign up for a Founders Pack, so you can get access to the either the first or second ages of the game. Uh, it will support me as well as support the game. It is very important to me. I appreciate all the support I've gotten so far, and uh, just be on the lookout for a great game that's coming soon. Wow, dude, damn. Zito, where can they find you, man? Hi. You can find me over at twitch.tv slash Zito. Uh, CZ Backlash on Twitter and the Ever Ringgit Almanac on Patreon, uh, where I feel completely terrible because I kind of, like, got invested in making sprite art for a video game mod for the past two weeks that I kind of forgot that homebrew existed. So, as a show of good faith, I'm working on it. Uh, the fun will continue, but... Little did I know that the moment I was going to work on the fawn, fucking Crawford's just looking over the horizon line showing Theros at me, just like, God fucking damn it, Crawford. So I'm working on Malu Redux right now, and then I'm going to finish the fawn book because that fucking book is cursed and I got to get it out of my goddamn life. Uh, beyond that, uh, there's indie games are happening, and once I get some good homebrew out, most likely I'll go back to art sprites and then there's got to be a marble stream somewhere. I have to do marbles. Clearly not all the stages can be fucking Deadpool stages. They, they surely can't. By this point, there has to be new shit. I'm sorry, there's 69 Deadpool oh, stages. Oh god, I knew it! <laughs> <laughs> but yes, a marble stream will happen. So, uh, hashtag uh, blorbs and hashtag dice. Which one are you? Are you, high are you the 1% or the 99%? Get in on this war. Shanpai, our wonderful guest star, is here as well. Shanpai, Hi. where can they find you aside from kind of awake? Oh. <laughs> Oh, wow. Wait, wait, hey, 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 Corona I preface, I preface so everyone's like, is she okay? <laughs> I preface that, so everyone's like, is she fine? Do you want all those messages? <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm fine. Uh, the only thing that I have to say is you can find me on twitch.tv slash shempai, on Twitter at Aramiro, and on YouTube as Aramiro as well slash shempai. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have anything amazing to announce like everybody else here because, uh, wait, actually, I do have one thing to announce. Ah, uh, damn, I, I guess lost... I'm by myself on that one then. I thought I, I had have... a friend. <laughs> <laughs> I have lost complete control of my life, but that's okay, pretty that... much it. I actually have nothing to announce. <laughs> I'm that boring. <laughs> Talk about your projects. I don't have any projects. <laughs> Talk about your old projects. My this is old new audience. Uh, <laughs> I stream video games. I don't know which video game I'm streaming Boo. right now. It's, all, it's always a surprise. Uh, I'm, I am trying to finish a Persona 5 Royale now uh, and then uh, going back to starting Final Fantasy 7 Remake. Uh, Ooh, very nice. nice. I'm really excited, but other than that, I I actually am just playing a lot of 14 like I usually do. There's a lot of writing going on right now, and uh, this is like the one thing where I can run away from <laughs> Yay, freedom! <laughs> but uh, no, I don't have anything else. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Uh, hi guys, uh, it's Takahata101 here. You can find me at twitch.tv slash Takahata101. Uh, where, well, uh, it, some things have shifted on my channel a little bit here. We got uh, Multiverse Nexus Wrestling. We got that starting at tomorrow at 1 o'clock uh, PST as well. Uh, 
we're going to be seeing some more shifting. There's going to be uh, there's going to be a new schedule posted up there. We're going to get some XCOM. Uh, the Longerest War will begin soon enough. And as well, I am going to start. I have brought back the lovely, the wonderful ASMR radio where I get good and close to my microphone and we talk about absolutely nothing as we play simulator games with technically next to no combat. So, yeah, that'll be happening over on my channel, twitch.tv slash Hannah 101. Uh, a lot of people I got to thank here. Wow. Uh, you guys have been crazy uh, with your bit drops and everything. So I'm going to try my best to read these all out here. First of all, right out the gate, I want to thank uh, Skull J for gifting 10 subs to the chat. That's very nice of you, Skull J. S Wolf 95 gifting five subs to the community as well. S Wolf 95, thank you so freaking much. As well, I would also like to thank I like to booya one, two, three. <laughs> Thank you so much for the five subs as well, gifted to the community. And now the I I got a lot of people to thank here. So I uh, know, right? All right, all right. Uh, screw no, Steve, I'm sorry, one, two, I'm laughing at something else. Ah, oh, damn it! I thought you were being relatable to me. Hashtag disappointed. Scuba Steve, one, two, five, eight. Nackley, Polly, Spaceman, Monster, the Sequim Quid, Nerdy Notion Z. Thank you so much for the subs. Flame Floor, thank you for the bits. Gala Ananan, thank you so much for the sub. And all that chaz. Argent Lyal, thirteen. Rikaku the Sacro. Omen, the Gloomy Bunny, Iggy Hidokagi, Ruby Orchard, 14, Young Sandpaper, Just Another Clone, Crow the Immortal, Daluna, 13, Vaca Brava, Novagen, Deformis, 624, Pika Fan, 003, The Goblin Review, Bag of Holding, Puppet Fan, DRK, Gannon, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Verbic, 5, 1, 4, 4, 5, 1, 4, 9, 9. Rune Wolf 13200. What enough with the numbers? White Knight Crusader. Basic. <laughs> <laughs> this is from Takahata 101. A uh, gumsy kind of guy giving a sub to Distortion Devil. I don't know, some kind of devil guy. Uh, Draconian 9. Okay, that's one number. That's fine. Aces Horge. True Alucard V. Yeah, that's not bad. That's five, though, I'm pretty sure. Ark Requiem D. Sp Spencer Taylor 182. Infinity Judge. Phantom Man 85. Jazz Gag. Feeling uh, twitchy. As well as Gumsy kind of guy gifting us up to Edward Bosco. Oh my God, I love his voiceover Ooh. work. Hell Bent Fry, thank you so much. As well for the subs. Now to go for the bits here, guys. Oh boy, your bits have been very kind. Seafoam Kazoo with 500 bits, no message, just bits. Well, thank you so freaking much, Seafoam Kazoo. Uh, John49357, thank you for the bits as well. Jovial Tanuki. Hey, no, hey. put down the gun. Put down the gun. Put down the gun, Zito. Put it down. Oh. Okay. Yeah, okay, he did. Good. <laughs> so Marcus Otero with a thousand bits. Crew Kobold's thesis intensifies. <laughs> it's just like one second sound bits of Zeno yelling, just you know, just like turned into different no musical notes. Oh, it's like it's like when fucking someone remixes that Dorito Shell Taco guy with fucking Cruel Angel thesis. Yes. <laughs> yes. Marcus Atera with a thousand bits, though. Thank you so freaking much to Marcus Atera here. Uh, the Narga Kuga, thank you. And 7657, super thank you for 850 bits. I thought Greco said Simpy, and I lost it. We'll pick it up. And 765, thank you so much. Rand cost back with a bit. Nerdy Notions with a Z with a thousand bits. Just re-upped my monthly sub and tossing bits your way. Have a great game from Xander. <gasps> Thank you, Xander, for the 1,000 bits. Thank you for your continued support. Big Art 61991 with the 500 bits. I just got Robot Dragon for a joyride. Not a big deal, right, Task? No, uh, no, not at all. No, 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 not at all, Big Art. Thank you, though. Uh, the real mm, for a joyride. Real mm, mm, meta with 2,000 bits. I love how we already have like 400 people in here. It's time for Mecha Task Battle. That was 10 minutes ago, guys, too. We got a lot more than that now. Real meta. But think of the 2,000 bits, nonetheless. Scuba Steve, think of the bits. Ebon Sky, no message, just 500 bits. Well, thank you so much for those. Sword Fanatic with the 3,000 oh bits. Hope these bits serve you well. What is it? God. Wow. Okay. Oh, I saw. Oh, I saw. I saw. <laughs> Sorry, Fanatic, with 3,000 bits. Hope these bits serve you all well. As always, hope you all stay well. And thank you for the laughs. May the dice be in your favor. Except for Monty. Hey, that that was added by me though, Nadine. Don't, don't, don't play sword <laughs> fanatic. That was me. Three thousand bits. Monty will remember this. <laughs> Get those natural twenties out of your way, Nadine. <laughs> sword fanatic with a three thousand bits. Thank you so much. So Skyblaze, thank you for the bits. Skull J, thank you for the bits. Fifteen hundred bits from Young Sandpaper. Get in the Draco bot task. That name was great. I'm sorry. <laughs> Young sandpaper. sandpaper. That got me. That got me. Young Sandpaper. Some of these names. Some of these names, man. I, I struggle. 
I struggle to stick with it. I think I, uh, I still think right. what my two favorites are Achilles Nipple and Bernie Sanders. <laughs> <laughs> Bernie Sanders is so good. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> what was the hot pocket bits? one? Oh yeah, uh, Pop Tart Depression. Yeah, Pop Tart, Pop -Tart, Pop -Tart Depression. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, my favorite flavor. <laughs> well, no, it, was, it was it was Thought Pockets. That's what it was. Oh yeah, we made that Thought up, Pockets. Though. We made that one up. Was Thought Pockets? I don't no, think I don't. I think that, that was a real person. It's a real person. a real person. Someone yeah. is identified as Thought Pockets. <laughs> All right. And they're just cold on the inside because very much adult Thought long. Pocket. Legs flame. <laughs> Oh, Bernie Sanders is here. Bernie Sanders is here. Adult Thought Pocket is here as well. <laughs> oh Different thought, though. Different thoughts. Sorry. Link Slate with the 500 bits. Glad to see Task is the Red Ranger of, of, for his own Megazord. Pop a fan oh, thing for the 300 bits as well. White Knight Crusader Room of 1 3 2001. Thank you for uh, Purple Fish Bones. Thank you for the bits. S Wolf 95. Thank you for the bits. For Forever Dungeon Master. Thank you for the bits. A flightless 626 with a 1111 bits. 111111. Well, thank you so much. We'll get a zero eventually and we'll have the computer code finished. Thank you, Flightless. The Sequim Kid with the 500 bits. No messages. Bits. Well, thank you so much. Deluda 13. Purple Fish Bones. Assaulted Peanut. Thank you so much. Aces Jorge. True Alicord V. Sorry. I apologize. I already read those ones off. Like to Booyah. One, two, three with five. Thousand boo -boo 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 beards. Well, I admire the entire cast. I want to use my bits to give a shout out to all the MVPs who work behind the scenes of the campaign. From Austin to the chat mods, all the artists, the wiki writers, people like Probate who invested in the show, and to tell people I'm unaware of, I haven't mentioned. You know who you are, and I appreciate all the work you do. Well, thank you, like to Booyah123. It's not very so. nice to say. <clears throat> But Austin's a computer algorithm. He's not actually a real person. Oh, what? Really? Yeah, I know. I didn't want to spoil it for you guys, Walt, Walt but that Blake, makes him Walt more attractive. Doesn't that, he's in there. doesn't that make him more attractive, though, in the grand scheme of things? But but Taka, I I, I saw his physical body at Magfest. Ah, uh, I see you saw the actor he pays. Oh, nah, shit. dude, that was that's Wallfly in human form. There we go, Mighty <laughs> Yeti, Joshi Boy, one three one zero seven, Celeste Wolf. Thank you for the bits. Arc Requiem D. Thank you so much as well. Maverick the Warlock. Thank you so much for the bits. Spencer Taylor one eighty two. Thank you so much for the sub. Infinity Judge. Thank you for the sub. Dino Mite thirty six with a thousand bits. Ever since you guys. You guys had an I Little Pony tabletop. It kind of reminded me of a great Phoenix Wright My Little Pony crossover called Turnabout Storm. It's a great series. Even though you're not an Ace Attorney fan or My Little Pony fan, you guys should check it out. Hey. I'm an Ace I Attorney like, fan. I like both of those things. Yeah, I kind of like both of them. I never cared for either. Also, okay, speaking cool. of speaking of artists, uh, except for Draco, we'll omit her from that person who was like, great, thanks to all the people behind the scenes, not Draco. She's a nerd. She doesn't. Wow. 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 It's okay, Draco. Wow. I appreciate you. 9615. I appreciate you. Segway. This is the highlight of my week. I also, I can't wait for Prince to Prince yeah. Mission Saturday night either. That'll be a great start to my birthday Saturday morning and will get me through work. Well, thank you so much for clearing 9615. For, for context, we're real life friends and we 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 jab at each other. So I don't actually hate her. We're, we're actually really good friends. We just like giving you. <laughs> no, no, Monty. Let, let the internet feel this way. Let's set the divide right now. Don't no. worry, Draco. I'll be your friend. <laughs> Dynamite, Nick Leary, thank you guys so much. Gibbers 430, thank you for the bits as well. Phantom Man 85, Jazz Gag, thank you again. Avion Fan with a thousand bits, thank you for this series. Not only have you inspired me to run my own homebrew campaign, but you've also helped me through severe depression and anxiety. I've been an, I've been a light for me to run to you've been a light for me to run towards in some of my darkest times. Thank you so much from you Avion Fan. Three minutes. Well, I'm gonna try and get through everybody the fastest I can here. Lone Wolf, Flargy, thank you so much for the 510 bits. Okay, guys, can't stay for long, but just some bits. Also, guys, where are the yokai races are you? There's oh, more messages, but that's where I'm stopping. Feeling a twitchy. Celeste Wolf, thank you. Thorden 2017 with a 1,050 bits. 1,500 bits. Howdy, gang. Customer money. Do you have a running list of your campaign gods? And will you ever share them with all of us? No. Spaceman Monster. Thanks. <laughs> well, then. You on, Hellbent, you I, Hellbent Fry. Princess Boots. Mr. Fuck em Up 2001. Uh, Cosmo Mon gives us up to Crimson Cowboy. Lovely Lorelei. Megas Rawr. Grill gets it. Hero. Dial 202. Death Scythe 93. Xeon the Cobalt. Dunsoul. Shenpai. Lore Rider. Thank you for all the subs. All right. We got a couple big so I'm gonna read off here as quickly as I can. Blackfoot Ferret. I'm just I'm kidding, Thornton, by the way. Uh Blackfoot Ferret with a 1,337 bits. No message, just bit seriously. My mind is blank today. Well, Blackfoot Ferret, we still thank you nonetheless. Lady Tenkage with a thousand bits since I can't stay all night. Here's a bit to take my place this evening. <laughs> Fox Hound 093 with the 150,000. Sorry, with 150 oh my god the 15 you got, got 150,000 bits 150,000 yeah well, the brain was like i couldn't say it or something like like Whoa. uh there's bits love the metal dragon have a great game everybody
Here's bits. Love the Metal Dragon. Have some bits. Well, there you go, Zito. That's all you had to do. We got those bits because you got the goddamn dragon. So thank you. You're Zachary. Welcome. Zachary. Celeste Wolf. Like us. Dark Fang. Saichi V. Thank you so much. Uh, Sy uh, Savanders with 2,000 bits. Drinking a bottle of 100 proof whiskey and smoking a cigar. Bringing the fanciness to the stream, too. Whoa. Hope you brought enough cigars for everybody. Bella Zach with 1,500 bits. Finally mastered the strength to wake up at 5 a.m. to watch you live after powering through all the episodes. So, ye wow. have some bits to start my day. Wow. Shout that out is... to my early morning boys and girls. High five. Lore uh, Rider. Uh, slap each other in the face because they're so tired. Lore Rider, Bella X3, Big Bouncy, RC Wheeler 34. Thank you so much. Oz195 with a five. Subs gift to the committee. Thank you so much. Peter Piper, the portable pen. 500 bits. Thank you so much. To Dark Tower. 500 bits. No messages. Bits. The real with the digital 2000 bits, you know I had to do it to y'all. You didn't though. I, I made I just made the pose in real life and I hate myself. Oh no. <laughs> it, it, it is it is like a Mac it's like you just you have to do it. You're like I'm in a consistent state of I had to do it to him. I had to do it to him. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it must suck to know that that guy you can never wear another outfit. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys ready to start? Yeah. Yep. Um, all right, let's do it. <sighs> when last we left our heroes, Greckles the Kenku Rogue, Panic the Tiefling Bard, Borky the Orc Barbarian, Task the Cobalt Ranger, and a new found friend in Object 8, the Construct, huh? the party yeah. made their way to the peak of the Mountain of Repetition, also known as Oriara's Landing, and the workshop of the Silver Kobolds. Running into Object 8, the party was escorted to Gadget, a high-ranking craftsman and, cre and creator of Object 8. After the party explained their intentions to Gadget, the party was permitted to venture around the compound and were received in various manners until they were escorted to the secret project demanded of Oriara, a massive metal construct dragon of immaculate craft and construction, a weapon to surpass metal... No. After eating <laughs> the kobolds, trying to make trade, and finding a naked log, and learning of the various crafts within the compound, Object 8 was guided by Oriara to lead Task back to the secret dragon project in secret. After messing with the safety lock, the two commandeered the massive project, and in a wild joyride, ride, promptly crashed the project to the ground in a dented, smoking heap. As the sounds of tools hit the table and feet scramble across the flat of the mountain, we return to our heroes in the shadow. I, I gotta say something, and I didn't say it last session. Uh, and Zito, I think Zito will back me up on this. When we came here and saw all the, the silver kobolds working, the first thing I thought of was the underpants gnome theme, and I don't know why. Yo, I, high five. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. There we go, there we go. Yep. Roll down those, roll down that. The true prophet. All right, so object eight and task. Uh, you guys are like, you guys were thrown when this thing hit the ground. Uh, yeah. You guys were bouncing around like the inside of the cockpit and like tossed into parts of the, of the actual like interior. Um, you feel like you would be in pain, Object 8, if you could feel pain. Uh, Task, you're in pain. Uh, you got slammed against like the front part, like the glass part, and you were thrown back onto the control panel and eventually dumped onto the floor. Uh, at this point, the rest of belts. The rest of you guys, after witnessing this, watch as every single cobalt like stops, drops what they're working on, and begins to run towards where this thing has landed. <laughs> oh. So, so Borky's oh, no. on a ladder. Are they all <laughs> coming down the ladder? <laughs> oh, oh! Yeah, like everyone is like, some people are like just climbing down past you, Borky. Like they're just using you as part of the ladder just to climb. Ah! Ah! I surrender! I surrender! I surrender! <laughs> Uh, the moment many of these kobolds reach, like, reach a re like, kind of make their way around the dragon, there immediately is arguing and, like, loud voices shouting back and forth. Like, people are really, really heated. Uh, as you guys are inside Object 8, you begin to hear movement above uh, where you guys are, and you watch as a compartment on the head of this dragon is, like, pried open with a crowbar, mm -hmm. and you see Gadget looking down towards you. Kind of like panting. <sighs> you better have a good explanation. Me to do this. <laughs> Sorry, what? Out. Yeah, you cut out. I task reply with, "Yeah, your God told me to do it." 
to be yes. fair. I, I have an explanation. I'm sorry. Oriara told me, but I, I, th I think I need to look over myself. I don't know if I'm damaged. Your arm is over there. She points at your arm. It's just like hanging on like one of like the, the rail bars. And it's just kind of like. <laughs> oh, like, no. It just instantly goes like into rebooting mode. <laughs> like you laughed. <laughs> past. The second they ask you, just do the part Simpson. I didn't do it. Windows 95 startup sound. Damage yeah, yeah, check. yeah. Pain calculation. Pain immense. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> the rest of you guys, you guys gather around. Just, just trying to discern what they may be talking about, because uh, when you guys begin to show yourselves, which is very easy, you guys stand out clearly. Um, people like are kind of circling around you. Um, some of which are are holding on to weapons. Um, there's like one little like kid kobold who's capping a hammer and is just like looking at Borky's knees. Like they all look. <laughs> A lot less hospitable at this point as they kind of like kind of collect you guys and surround you and there's just like yelling back and forth like we shouldn't have let them in here. This is what happened. I, well, I don't know what Ladies, happened. Ladies and gentlemen, but, uh, this is I, all a great misunderstanding. I can assure you there must be some mistake. Uh you watch as what? that uh the clockmaker cobalt who you were talking to earlier. Uh, climbs up the side of the the uh, the dragon, and you watch as they pull out tasks. Tasks, you are you are they're nice as as nice as they can be. They grab you and Obby and Obby's arm and kind of drag you guys out um, and get you guys out of this. By by the way, um, in terms of the damage, it is not completely destroyed. The chest part where it crashed is just shredded uh, and dented inwards. Uh, one of the wings is actually torn where the canvas is. Uh, and there's a sizable dent in the cockpit, like the, the glass that makes up the cockpit of the head. That's um, what happens when you don't have seatbelts and your forehead hits it first. <laughs> yeah. Um, as you guys are dragged out, you, you notice um, Task is one of the cobalt just goes, I did notice something. One of those individuals, one of those outsiders had said he could do magic with his instrument. I wonder if, and they kind of turn over and look at Abby, and Gadget kind of looks back and goes, can't cancel it out, but let's be optimistic. It flew. It did fly. And you watch as they all kind of begin to gather up and Tass, they kind of toss you in with, with the rest of your party. Um, object eight at this point, uh, you, you feel as your pain receptors are coming up negative as uh, you're being repaired. Uh, that you know you're in repair mode at the moment yeah. as like five different cobalt just begin to fix you. It just goes, <laughs> just turns off completely. <laughs> Pat just holds his face, not even fucking listening to any of these cobalt screaming at him. You watch as, uh, oh god, uh, Ratchet, I think it was, wasn't it? Oh no, it was Old Rusty. Old Rusty. Old Rusty. He's like, I told you they were nothing but a bunch of riffraff. And the moment he shows up, everyone who's arguing just stops and goes, oh, like just like. <laughs> Like everybody, like is just like, oh my god! First, my pedal copter. Now the secret project. Where will it stop? Huh? Are they gonna take another book? Heck, why don't they take a whole workshops? And they, everyone at this point is just like the arguments are stopping, and everyone's just like, shut the fuck up, Rusty! <laughs> Thank God, at least they're not I'm actually gonna die a mountain them. filled with tasks. Uh, you okay, Rusty. It? Whatever you say, Rusty. Really, really quick above game. We were publicly told to check this thing out, and we were also publicly told that there was no way to power it, correct? Yes. Okay, this this is at the point where Greco's is going to walk forward and just very calmly say, I actually cannot believe how short-sighted you're all acting right now. Uh oh, oh Greco's. <laughs> Borky just like oh. fingers, like thumb and finger to his eye. Oh, no, this isn't good. That's <laughs> holding my face in pain, Greco's. Listen, listen, we came in and brought back a sacred relic. We were told by Oriara to come here. And now you found your power source to the machine that you were told by Oriara to make, but had no idea how to use. At this so point, if, all the arguing kind of becomes like murmurs. It's just like, yeah, they broke it, but it's true. They powered it. And we've had this thing unpowered for three. Like they all kind of begin yammering back and forth. And like one of them's like, Oriara sent them? Like they're just kind of all like, like chirping back and forth. And like the little, the little cobalt's like, I still want to break their knees, and they're like, no, honey, no. <laughs> Jesus, 
It's like that fucking scene from. I just imagine like, like a, a little baby kobold, like little baby girl kobold with a mallet bigger than her in her oh, hands, yeah. just like oh, yeah. just take out Greckle's bird <laughs> knee. No, she's Let's... aiming at yours. Yours is the biggest and the juiciest. Now, but... oh, my, oh my, not God. my juicy <laughs> knees. <laughs> may I? May I continue, guys? <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh, just, nah, keep pouring fire. Keep pouring oil on this fire. Greggles, I shall. <laughs> Listen, we came in. We followed all the rules. We came in peace. We've been sent by Oriara. We don't even know why, and I'm sure no one here knows why. But we're here for a reason, and we're more than willing to help figure out what that reason is and repair that. Gesturing over to the, the freaking mech dragon. But we all need to stay calm and think about what's really going on. It's almost like we were telling the truth the whole time, but no one fucking believes us. What an odd fucking sequence of events. Roll, roll a persuasion well, check with advantage. Oh, I'm not good at those. Remember, you're dealing with a bunch of hermits. So. <laughs> 16? Okay. They they all begin to murmur, and at this point, Object 8, you begin to reboot. You're fully mm -hmm. awake now. Yep. Uh, you've, been, you've been fully repaired. It's a very quick process. Yeah. Um, you kind of... And you watch as, uh, at this point, everyone's kind of calmed down. Um, gadget kind of turns up and just quickly like just puts uh puts their wrench into their kind of like side pouch and goes, he's got a point. We've had this thing sitting in a hangar for what three years, and he flew it. And she points to to task. I think that is a sign. And everyone uh, kind of begins to murmur again. How long does it take for my arm to be attached again? Oh, super quick, like like oh. instant, like a few minutes. They, oh. they they live and breathe this stuff. They know nothing else better than than fixing and making things. So so it's, so would my arm be a, be back on on my body at this point yes, functioning? Yeah, okay. yeah, it absolutely. Is. Uh, yeah, he kind of like you know rotates his arm, makes sure that it that it's working. It's like it's true, it's true. Oyara told me, and you he he did pilot it. He turned it on. You watch as a uh, one cobalt who you see now is is kind of old. He he looks like he would be like in his like forties if he was human aged. Right. Um, he's wearing like a, like big thick black soot covered gloves that are just way too big for him. Uh, like like two aprons over top, and he, whereas the other cobalts are kind of silver and like white, he's like he's covered in so much soot. It, it looks like he's like a, a black seal cobalt. Um, he has like a helmet hat on with almost like a um, angler fish sort of like design where <laughs> in front of his face is this very large um, like lantern with a sizable flame inside. Uh, and he kind of hobbles up to towards Gadget and goes, and they did break it though. And she's like, yes, they broke it. And if Oriara sent them, you watch as she kind of stands on top of the dragon. If Oriara sent them, like he says, and him, and also your, where's your construct? She kind of looks around. Yeah, all right. Um, Slug! You left him alone in the city? <laughs> yeah, he's gone. <laughs> oh, God. If, oh, God. What, if, what? if what they say is true, then what better way to have them prove themselves than to have them fix this. Ha ha ha, precisely. I believe our, our coming uh, heralds the completion and utilization of this magnificent m m m machine? Metal, yes, ma machine. metal, metal, metal beast. He watches, uh, he watches Gadget leads over to this other cobalt with a big light in front of him and goes, yeah, make them go into just the heavy labor part. And he's like, yeah, of course. <laughs> just writes it down in a notebook. All right, is that a deal, everybody? You watch this, like, a bunch of the kobolds are kind of murmuring. You watch as the little kobold puts the mouth away and just kind of, like, like a really upset child kind of crosses her arms and walks away and kicks her as, off. As long as we have a safe place to sleep and food, then I don't see a problem. Do you guys? It's like, I'm surrounded by lots of uh, angry kobolds with weapons at my knees. You I'm, know I'm, what? I'll be, I'll be I, honest with you, Grecos. I'm with you 110%. You know what? I think that sounds like amenable accommodations. Yeah. Yep. yeah absolutely. <sighs> Tass, All right. Tass looks like he was about to say something, but everyone just talked over him, so he just fucking, like, looked away. You watch as uh, this kobold, this one kobold, kind of walks up to you with the light in front of him, and it's it's so obnoxious, because it's, like, right in front of his face. Like, it's, it's, it, like, blocks his view, and it's very, very, like, 
it's so bright and it's so obnoxious. It's just obnoxious. It's like, it doesn't make any sense. Um, he walks up to each of you and kind of like gets close to you, uh, which is really like the, the, the light goes past your shoulders as he kind of looks at you. And he starts by going up to you, Tass, and just kind of looking at you. Uh, then he like walks over to you, Panic, and like kind of grabs your your scarf and kind of yanks you down, like kind of just grabs your jacket and pulls you down just to look at you. And he, he narrows his eyes and kind of just like gives a nice read. Uh, and then he climbs up you, Borky, like a tree. <laughs> He's just like, uh, uh, like, okay. like a gecko. Yeah. And he just kind of looks at you, um, kind of like checks your arms. He like kind of stretches out your arms and goes, mm. and then he yeah. scrambles down. And then he walks over to you, uh, Greckles. Mm -hmm. uh, roll a perception check for me real fast. Oh, excellent. I'm good at those, sort of. Start throwing mixed herbs onto your body. Uh, 15. 15. Uh, as he steps up to you, notice the flame inside of his lantern begins to like almost dance oh. um, in a way. And he kind of stops and goes, oh. Wait, wait, what is it? The flame spirit likes you. This one is mine! And he points towards you, Greckles. Ah! Oh, oh, no. Greckles! Oh, oh, okay. Goodbye, Greckles! Uh, I'll, I'll catch you guys later. Uh, then. Uh, oh, grabbed, it he grabs, he throws the uh, clipboard to Gadget. It kind of bounces between her hands, and then no, he gets wait a minute. Well, what dragged away. <laughs> wait, well, we're, we're, not, we're not being indentured, are we? I mean... <laughs> yeah, you are. He watches Gadget starts writing down. Well, it looks like your friend's working the forge. Then let's wait, see. Wait, 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 the forge. Wait, okay, so he, he leans out. Please don't eat my friend. Come on. We're I'm not We're not savages. Come on. If you're worried about getting eaten, just don't speak to the orcs down at the base of the mountain. Now. Yeah, orcs suck. Everyone, stop. Everyone stops and looks at you as they're like gathering their things, and then Borky, immediately go back Borky, to what doing. Borky's like, "Would you like to see my hag goblet?" Borky, put the hag goblet away, please. Okay, put the hag goblet away. Uh, Gadget, Gadget walks up to you, panic, and and she kind of like checks your clothes, and she goes, "You seem to have a good eye for detail, I'd say." Sure. You have nimble and elegant hands. Oh, well, shucks, you're just, <laughs> you're... <laughs> I want to say so many things in and out of character. <laughs> I'm feeling indentured already. <laughs> yeah, I'm putting you in the grind. You're going to work the looms. Huh? <laughs> you're working the looms. No, I, I need the these fingers to... To work huh? the strings? She kind of looks at you to work the strings. Ah, I see. I can do that. Mm hmm You're working the looms. She just kind of, like, pushes you, like, your stomach with the clipboard and kind of pushes you back. Oddly enough, I have more experienced blacksmithing in this one. Go to the textile section. She kind of, like, hurries you. <laughs> no, I was, I, was, I was being walked away <laughs> as I was saying that. All the oh, boys okay. are going to shop class. You're going to home ec. Have fun. <laughs> so anyway, I was just slamming in. <laughs> uh, she walks up to you. Uh, Borky goes, yeah, you're working the smelters. You good with the show? Woo Wait, is that hot? Yeah. Oh no! Do you, do you provide do you provide refreshments? Provide water. Eh, okay. Okay. You watch as she like calls up, whistles another cobalt, and they grab a shovel and hand it to you. Okay. Borky just starts like like in pantomime digging into the ground where he's standing. She sighs as she points towards like the beefy kobolds that you ran into in the middle of the mountain. She's like, what's all uh, of them? I, I know, I don't know. They don't want to sell me silver. I don't know. What's sell? What? She kind of well, cocks want, her head. It's fine. Never mind. I'll just, I'll deal with it. I'll deal with it. Mm, okay. She walks up to you, Taz. You. Taz just stares at her, arms folded. Got some special plans for you. Come on. Come on! She kind of like just waves her hand. Task is being indignant. She just stands there. <sighs> she stops and turns. Look, do you want your answers or don't you? That was all I needed someone to tell me that they were going to do that. That's really fucking hard for a lot of people, apparently. And I follow after her. All right, let's go. We're testing out some theories. Object eight. She tosses yeah. you the the, uh, the clipboard. Oh, oh! And he grabs it. Just looks at it. 
<laughs> Not sure what he's supposed to do with it. Run note taking .exe, please. Beep. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> That's it by programming? <laughs> oh, he, he like looks at it and goes, <laughs> and scanning for the words. Shoots out blue beams like fucking red <laughs> beams. <laughs> you have my VR. All right. Uh, Greckles, you are hurried through the uh, workspace. Uh, the kobold is very excited almost. Hurry, come on. Oh, 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 can you at least tell me your name first? My name's Forge. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm Greckles. Good to meet you. Good to meet you, but don't get too friendly. My only friend is the Spirit of the Flame. And she likes you too, so... Oh, I know that all too well. We have a mutual understanding. Come, 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 come. He watches. He leads you into this, uh, this staircase that leads under the earth. Um, mm -hmm. It leads you to a large factory-like chamber uh, with various kobolds kind of pushing uh, mine carts, uh, smelting different ore... Uh, eventually you're led into this one chamber, which is just almost a, I'm going to say, like, easily a 30-foot by 30-foot forge. Oh, it's just a massive circular forge. Uh, and there's about 50 or so kobolds working at this forge and using it um, as a shared sort of space. Uh, he takes you up to kind of one of the main areas of this forge, um, which is somewhat covered, but is probably the hottest. The moment you kind of sweep around, like, you're just hit with the heat. It's like opening an oven and sticking your head inside. Ooh. You get a little bit of a dizzy spell. Uh -huh. um, but notice the flames are dancing inside um, as he begins to grab metal uh, and begins to kind of, like, sniff it. He just grabs a piece, like a chunk of metal, and he's like, nah, and he just tosses it into a bin and goes, yeah, and starts it, and he uh, begins to gather and collect things. So really quick above game, um, were the, were the, was the fire dancing methodically, or are you just being poetic in the fire's movements? I don't know. Should I, can I perception that? Nature. Nature, all right, I'm down. Yeah, nature. Uh... That's a fat five. <laughs> mm, you don't know. Yeah, you're like, fire is fire, you you're, know. You're like, you're kind of like, okay, either something's up or this guy is fucking crazy. <laughs> like, fire is indeed very, hot. He's very strange. Mm. Uh, as he begins to collect ingots, uh, he begins to kind of show you the smelting process um, and begins to basically show you how to be, make giant sheets of metal. Uh, oh, cool. And it is a very arduous process, and you get yelled at a lot. <laughs> like it's, it's not like mean, like you know, like heck you, you're you're a jerk. Uh -huh. um, but he's very particular about the timing, and when you're wrong, he apologizes to the to the forge. Um, so at one point, <laughs> like you have to stick in an ingot on the end of a stick, and he's like, "All right, now quickly load it into the fire." Okay. Easy. And, roll, yeah. roll, a dex roll a dexterity check for me. I'm kind of good at this. I swear, 23. Yeah, you 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 slot it in. Uh, you go. hold it there, and you kind of it's really hard on the eyes, just staring at this. It's just Ugh. like your eyes are like watering from the heat. Um, and like he doesn't offer you goggles. He doesn't even wear goggles himself. Uh, as he looks into the flame, as he's just staring, he goes, "Yes, yes, that's it, that's it. Now keep your eyes right. on it. Watch okay. the flame dance." Uh -huh. Uh -huh. She'll tell you when it's done, and she will tell you. All right. Oh, Keep an okay. eye on it. Uh -huh. Eye on it. No, 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 no. You just, you just, press, press, press. All right. You, you, you take it out. You plunge it into water, and he goes. He, he, like. There's a moment where everything kind of goes quiet, and he goes, "Lift it, lift it, boy." And he kind of smacks you. Ah, huh, okay. Uh, lifted. <laughs> Garbage. Your timing's off. Try again. <laughs> uh. I, I have a question I want to ask, but you know, when appropriate. <laughs> yeah, you can. He's just he's just loading up more more ore to to, to try and smelt again. You watch as so, he tosses the failure into like a scrap pile, and it gets dragged away eventually. Well, Forge, I I hear you talking to the the fire, but can you tell me a little bit more about that? That's something that you and I kind of have in common. Oh yes, of course. Well, the fire spirit, she's fickle. She's been very temperamental lately. Almost seems upset. I don't know why. Mm. Is the fire spirit a part of the forge? Of course! What do you think runs the forge? Runs our spelters! She is a kindly soul. 
Ah, she calls me every dawn to her flame. She can melt the strongest of metals. Why only flame prevails? Hmm. It's peculiar. I actually... Well, I hope this doesn't bore you, but I actually, every morning, uh, pray to what I can assume is the deity of the sun. So, I guess a larger version. Oren? He kind of uh, cocks his head. Uh, yes, actually. Hmm. The fire spirit and Orin are friends, but they are not from the same cloth. You'd be surprised. Differentiation in fire, such as families, things like that? I suppose so. I'm sorry, my darling. I don't mean to speak with about you in such ways. He kind of pats the flames with his gloves. Oh, God. He oh, God. Back. He turns does it, back. Does, does it burn him, him, though? No, he's fine. He's, okay. He's very, they're very fireproof gloves, clearly. Okay, I wasn't uh, sure if this was... <laughs> kind of turns up and he goes, perhaps mm, descendants in a way, I suppose. Mm, mm, parts of Orin that have made the natural world of the material plane, perhaps. How did you learn about Orin? Ah, we have books. We make trade with the cloud giants on occasion. You with the cloud think. giants? Yeah, they come into trade through the sky. Fuck the people on the ground. They're a bunch of assholes. Thanks. Well, I mean, you're a bird, <laughs> so it's kind of like half <laughs> land, half sky. I wish it was half sky. As he just no. tries to work the smelter. <laughs> Yeah, you kind of load in more stuff and you kind of help him load up more of the metal and it kind of goes into this melting state. Yes, the Cloud Giants have been here for generations. I guess it's our first generation, but not until after the dragon was sat upon. Oh, right, we heard about that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a great story. But uh, Oriara, without even lifting a finger, destroyed that ancient dragon in an instant. Pop! And you watch as the fire actually pops as well. Oh, you know thank you, darling. You know, it's actually kind of interesting. We were saved by Sigsaw. You ever heard of him? See, boy, I know much of Oriara's stories, but not much of her history, if you are catching my drift. My heart and soul is for the Forge Flame, and she is a very gener very jealous and fickle mistress. <laughs> Aren't you, my darling? And you watch these slots in the metal. Here, hold. He kind of hands uh, it off to you. Okay. Watch it again. All right. When she seems to be getting upset, make sure to pull it out. Come on. All right. Looking, All looking. Right. Roll a dexterity check again. <laughs> oh, 11! Okay. You need above a 10, so you're fine. You're okay. kind of shaking. It's heavy, by the way. This is actually yeah. very heavy. And in an instant, no, 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 no! And you okay, okay, it okay. out and plunge it again. And uh, again, steam kind of rolls up, kind of lands on your beak, and your feathers are your feathers are getting singed in some places, especially on the arms. Sure. Um, assuming you're, you've taken off your clothes because they are flammable. Yeah. Um, and notably, there are like big buckets of water that you can just kind of pour on yourself. Mm -hmm. Um, but even then, like the hands and like around the the wrists, like you're getting singed a little bit. You're not getting hurt, but it's definitely, it's definitely... Well, it's hot. It's a forge. It's, I... it's a forge, yeah. Uh, as you pull out the hissing metal, uh, forge kind of walks up and goes, eh, well, it's not shit, but uh, kind of cocks his head a little bit. Uh, six out of ten. He kind of well, takes it from you and puts it on the good pile. Next you know, to forge, aside from just uh, manual labor, there's something else I might be able to do to help. Hmm. I assume that we're trying to make this folded sheets of, of metal in order to repair the uh, the dragon, correct? Not the beginning processing smelting parts, sir. We're making ingots mostly, boy. Would it help to have a three-dimensional diagram? Kind of cocks his head at that. Here, watch. Greco's just going to put his hand just kind of on, on a table, and as he lifts it up, it's just going to be um, probably a, a, a two-foot illusion replica of the dragon itself just kind of sitting we could use this to possibly figure out angles and and well you know more about this than i do but i figured having something to look at would be helpful greckles you're teaching 2d brains how to use fucking blender <laughs> no, no it's no. fine shut up <laughs> he kind of walks up to that and goes ah, we have some that are like you uh, i feel like this would be better for our hammering boys but huh yeah, maybe we'll make the ingots a little bigger for this part. And he kind of points towards kind of the biggest chest part. Mm -hmm. You've got a right. brain for this, boy. You could make something great, I think. And he watches, he goes back and begins to fill up the, the smelting kind of parts and 
turns back to you and gives you a cheeky smile. And the flame that, spirit thinks so too. That would be a, a major accomplishment, actually. Uh. Meanwhile, panic. Hey, that's me. That's you. Uh, you are dragged away. <laughs> Oh, uh, I don't. I don't. I I walk along. I, I don't. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you enter a surface building, which is actually like overhanging on one part of the mountain. Um, it is just filled like like with looms. There's like about ten kobolds in here, of varying ages uh, and genders that are just working looms at the moment. Huh. Uh, one of them kind of walks up to you. It's kind of like this this gram gram cobalt and goes, "Oh, hello, young woman." And kind of she kind of looks up. Her eyes are just you can't even see her eyes. She's just like looking up at you, and it's just wrinkles. <laughs> he just does that does that half lidded eye smile, just like okay, I'll I'll play a lot. Oh, it's like, hello. oh, oh. She kind of lifts, like she kind of turns and like puts a hand in front of her little little tiny ear and listens and goes, "I'm so sorry." Yeah, I'm I'm very much a, ma a male. She kind of walks um, up and just puts both hands on your waist and goes, You have a lovely figure. Yeah, I know. You need to eat more, though. She kind of taps your stomach. Let's I see, let's it. see. Let's see, let's see. She kind of reaches and grabs your fingers. Okay. She kind of like touches your thumb. <laughs> I don't know. Um, have you ever made? I'm sorry. I'm just saying your hands are large, very soft. Baby's bottom. Thank you. The the the, the fingertips aren't soft. The, you know, I instrument. So I'm a musician. I. I do play the guitar and, uh, you know, calluses. Mm, she kind of turns over and goes, I don't know if I want this one on a loom. He might get his fingers tangled and eventually ripped off if he's not careful. They're too big. And you watch as one of the other kobolds go. <laughs> eh. Kind of like. Panic, panic's just like is smiling and like and, and pointing just like, yeah, not a great idea. <laughs> Can you hand stitch, son? Hmm. I'm willing to learn. Oh, good. She kind of grabs you and takes you over. Uh, and uh, she takes you over to... Oh, God, Drill. Oh, fuck. Okay. Uh, she takes you over to a buff kobold <laughs> who is sitting and currently has a large, like, hook-like needle and is currently stitching together big pieces of cloth. Oh. Huh. So you just want me on uh, this? Yep. Okay, sure. Have fun. She turns around and goes back to the loom. And the moment she hits the loom, it's like, <laughs> like they're going, they're going at mock speed. Like it's so fast. It's it's actually kind of insane that they're all just like really <laughs> quickly going through the loom. Uh, as you sit down at this large table, uh, the one cobalt is. First of all, you didn't notice until you get close to him, but running like all over his head and down his back are actually needles that are just stuck in him, like a like a little like um, oh, uh, what would you call it? Um, I should know this. I sew uh, the thingy that you the pin tomato, cushion. Pin cushion. Thank you. Um, he doesn't look pained. He's got scales, so it's probably like in the scales. Uh, but there are like various different like like thicknesses and varieties of like needles that he just kind of plucks out and like replaces. It's almost like he's got a little tool like toolbar thing on where his where his scales should be. He's kind of like pulling them out and, and taking them out. Uh, you sit oh. down. And his he's got a very intense look to him. Um, he's actually got one eye that appears to be mechanical in nature, and the other eye is normal. Um, <laughs> And his back is the only thing that seems to be altered on him. And he kind of sits down and goes, Hey, man. Hey, just just like to put it out there. You look really badass, but I don't think I want to, uh, you know, keep the, the needles in me. If that's uh, quite all right. Roll a charisma check with disadvantage. Great. Yeah. Oof. Oh, nine. No. You think this is a cute job? 
You think we're going to do small talk? Like talking over tea? Fuck no. This is this is a a, a, a manly job like uh like like post fraud. You're working the big fabric with the big boy. <laughs> oh god. You fucked up. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me, my friend. I am used to handling big boys. <laughs> Fuck. Fucking home run, Connor. <laughs> uh, I, I'm waiting for this guy to look at you and just go, we have so many sights to show you now. He's just he grabs, smiling. He grabs a uh he grabs a needle and he just like 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 almost like pushing a gun to you, like just pushes this really big needle towards you. He goes, Ow. running stitch and he just leans back in his chair and looks at you it helped me <laughs> i say in my mind <laughs> uh, all right if uh uh i didn't have a mother for 20 years i've never even seen one of these things <laughs> <laughs> all right you get a response from if one under one over, in a line, over time. He just... One under, one over, in a line, over time. And he'll he'll try to apply that as best he can, uh, sort of going, going under and then over, trying to, you know, just best he can tie these two pieces of fabric together with this I'm, I'm assuming it's like twine or something like heavy twine yeah it's like really like it's almost like metal wire actually like Ooh. very thin metal wire like they're Fuck. <laughs> this is heavy duty this isn't just like oh we're we're gonna sew some fleece together what, this is like of, really thick. what type of fabric is it is it like it is like multi-layered canvas it seems to be what they produce okay. here is, is really because you you notice and note basically trying to run around and trade objects. They don't have access to leather here. Um, they this is have really to, out of my veal house. Uh, I'm gonna say for this roll, just a dexterity check, just a straight dexterity. Okay. Check. Seven. Seven. <laughs> it's a really <laughs> shitty job, but you do get the right stitch. Uh, and Drill kind of like leans over and he watches that little mechanical eye just <laughs> kind of looks in and goes, Ta da! <laughs> it's shit, but it's yeah. the right shit. Hey! Ladder, ladder stitch, go. And he kind of leans back in the chair again. <laughs> Do not um, disappoint me. Panic is, is going to be like ladder stitch. That must mean that the, he wants to, to look like a ladder, and, and this is all in his head. So he'll he'll do like one side cross over, then do the other side, and then he'll crisscross, and then start the whole process over again. Okay, roll another dexterity check for me. Okay, here I go. Here I go. I'm going oh. twenty one. You get it. You watch as he kind of lit, cocks an eyebrow and goes, "Not bad." All right. He kind of leans back. Here's the pattern. He kind of, he's like, it is like you're making like canvas, but he's like treating it like a mafia agreement as he tosses you the pattern and leans back and kind of mm. scratches his nose. It makes sense to you. Uh, makes sense to me. Good. Uh, and he'll, he'll, uh, summon his mage hand and he'll, uh, just to speed up this process. What's your name? Uh, Panic, Panic Grimtongue. Panic? If you fuck up, lives are at stake. One stitch out of place, one thread cut too short. Could mean the whole variable gets ruined and the project is destroyed. You understand? Yeah, but like no pressure or anything, right? He sighs and goes back to sewing. He just shakes his head. Okay, mage hand, let's go. I'll, I'll summon my mage hand and uh, 
Just you to hear, help the process along. As you as you're like kind of doing it, you hear if sing a little song. One side, the other, under, over. Just whistle while you were. All right, Borky. I'm just assuming it's the it's the gay steel mill scene from The Simpsons. <laughs> dant, 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 dant. <laughs> we work hard, we play hard, and we play hard. I want you just to start with an athletics check here. <laughs> <laughs> Let me pull open my character sheet now, I guess. Get Money. to on, soldier. Money. Money, I gotta be real with you. I feel fucking called out with this whole entire civilization. <laughs> wow. They're cobalt, wow. of course they are. <laughs> I didn't think it was the case, but it's an entire mountain. No, it past. wasn't the kobolds that I feel like I was called out on. It's just every personality we've met so far. I'm just like, hmm. Monty, do you do you want to go back to New York sometime? Nineteen. <laughs> All right, you're you're like shoveling just slag into di different. You've been pointed out where to shovel what where. Uh, um, uh. And as as you're shoveling, you notice after a while there's no one else shoveling with you, and you turn around and there's like like probably about thirteen kobolds just kind of leaning on their shovels, just watching you go, and they're like they're all like kind of admiring your work. <laughs> they're like oh. really impressed. Oh. It's, it, it. Is, is, am I doing something different? Am I wrong? I'm sorry. They all kind of look at each other and kind of laugh, and they're like, no, no, you're fine. You're just doing the work of five of us. Oh. Did why are eight of you not working? Fuck! They all kind of like they literally none of their heads move, but their eyes just kind of like dart between each other. Well, I mean, yeah, you're taking up uh, so much space right there. You know, we were just thinking. Oh, that is true. I am the size of thirteen of you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, we were just you know standing back, giving you breathing room. Okay, it's it's hard to breathe in here. What with all the heat and the hot stuff coming through constantly, mm. I, I just got a quick question for you, for you both, uh, the kobolds that are buff. Are all of you kind of angry all the time, or is that just a special thing? <laughs> they all kind of look to each other. Uh, at this point, the other like ten have like kind of gone about there because they were like stopping as they were carrying stuff. The three that are working with you, um, kind of look to each other and go, yeah, sometimes. Y'all seem really like not angry all the time. It's just, it's quite I mean, perplexing. Uh, it is. It's mostly the the craftsmen. They get really ordinary. Kind of uh, got you know got some anger issues. He's got the brains kind of never shutting up. We just like to shovel shit. And now it's just the same thing over and over again. It is there's something oddly fulfilling about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't no, know what. It. Is it wrong that I want to like get all the piles down to the equal level and then get each of them at the same level? I don't know. This is weird. One of uh, them like throws up a hand and goes, "Yeah, me too, man." Okay. So, uh, quick question, by the way. You know yeah. them shiny, that silver? Mm -hmm. We know what uh, silver is. Okay, I need to get some. How can I get some? <laughs> uh, why would you need silver for? You're not a craftsman. No, I I need it because um. Okay, uh, Gorky's <laughs> <Mark is> like, <clears throat> well, see, you know how we came up to this mountain and we went, we kind of like, I'm, I'm pantomiming shoveling right now while I'm talking to try. Yeah, and you're, you're, you're shoveling as you're just uh, saying, you yeah. know, you know them, uh, you know all them orcs at the bottom of the hill, the, the, the blood axes they call themselves, right? Oh, yeah, fuck those guys. They've killed so many of us. Yeah, no, they, they's, they's very violent, but. They're enemies if, of Oriara too, huh? Yeah, but if I get them some silver, they might actually go kill some other bad guys instead of your guys. So that they was really it. all throw back their heads and start laughing. Well, it was so funny. There's nothing funny about that. Yeah, I doubt that would work, pal. No, the leader himself did it after I killed a dragon. Yeah, they all kind of look to each other and they go, look. No, I was writing it. It was real. It happened. <laughs> <laughs> they all kind of exchange a, like a significant amount of looks with each other and they go, Look, we're not going to give you silver if you're going to hand it over to those assholes. And then one of them turns and goes, we could put a bomb in it. That is an option. <laughs> okay, well, if you find any silver you don't want, can I have it? Borky's trying to find any worker. 
Well, we'll think about it. What's your name, by the way, big guy? Ah, oh, name is Borky the Oki. Yeah. Borky holds his hand to shake his shake handshake. They get firm handshakes. Like Ooh. they're. Well, I'm guessing like they got a lot of soot on their arms and they got a lot of oh, yeah. sweat. Sweat they have, soot. They're shirtless as well. Uh, they're actually pantsless, which is you know task energy. Um, <laughs> One of them has like a bandana, like kind of like tied behind his head a little bit, uh, and one of them has a metal leg. Uh, they kind of point to each other, and uh, the the main one, the biggest one, goes, "I'm Giga, that's Mega, and that's Terra." Okay, Giga, Mega, and Terra. Mm hmm. I can't wait till they meet Ultima. Don't don't stop shoveling. Keep going. No, no, no! I'm shoveling. I'm just trying to like a like Giga, Terra, and. Me meta, meta, right? Me mega. Mega, mega. Okay, well, yeah, I'm bulky. Uh, I actually traveled to this land yeah, from all the way across the many ocean. It turns out the people I was traveling with, Captain, <laughs> Captain Feratu, was a vampire. What's a vampire? Uh, it's like you guys, but if they go out in the sunlight, they die. Oh, that's, they kind of train that goes... Yeah, those are the those are the construct makers. They just kind of nod and laugh a little bit. <laughs> what? They never leave their <laughs> warehouse. I'm honestly surprised they came out when the metal dragon was crashed. By the way, your friend was fucking bold for doing that. Yeah, 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 cool, yeah. bold. Oh, I'm hey! 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 Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm crying on the inside. <laughs> They have a dartboard with your face on it, Task, and they keep missing. <laughs> they both die every time. No, they keep missing, dude. They keep hitting your neck. <laughs> yeah, those those construct makers, they think they're so smart. Oh, they do. I like, there's a lot of things. You see construct makers. There's all of you working down here in the smelter where hot stuff is happening. Uh, oh, actually, actually, hold on, hold on. Borky looks over at his sword. Mm -hmm. And kind of hanging against the wall. Uh, so, Cloud Giant, what's up with that, huh? Oh, yeah, they do trade with us on occasion. Really? Yep, no, they fly through. It's really hard to see them, though, if you're ground person and all. Well, it is, are they hanging out near the top? Oh, they hide in clouds. I mean, that's the name, Cloud Giants. They hide their castles in clouds. Yeah, that is true. Fun. How many cloud generators have we worked on? He watches one and kind of begins to count on his fingers and stuff. He goes, I can't count. So cloud generators, you guys go up into the clouds sometimes? Oh, no, they park them here. They just kind of hook them up to the mountain. We step over and then uh, they give us stuff in exchange for fixing their shit. So what does it generate? More clouds? Yeah, more or less. Takes vapor, turns it into clouds. Hmm. Real sophisticated machine. That sounds in is incredibly, is incredibly interesting. Yeah, they can be kind of bastards sometimes, but I mean, the stuff they bring in is really good. And it's in large quantities, you know, because they're cloud giants. That makes a lot of sense. It does. Huh. I actually knew a cloud giant once. <sighs> oh, really? Yeah, I did. It's my sword over there. They all stop and look over, and then they all turn and huddle with each other. And then one goes, I think the heat's getting to them. Maybe we should tell him to stop. It's like, no, he's getting so much work done. We don't have to do shit. Maybe, hey, guys. Maybe. Guys. They all turn and look at you. <laughs> Check this out. Porky has two shovels. <laughs> <laughs> the, one, the last one turns and goes, we can't tell him to stop. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like spinning his arms. <laughs> 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 well, uh, that's real dandy that your sword is a cloud giant and all. Uh, you should drink some water, big guy, at the very least. Why? I'll just sweat more then. Uh, maybe a sweatband <laughs> would be good. We'll get you a sweatband too. How about that? Okay. Real quick, Nadine. Sky Giant and Cloud Giants. Are those distinctly different? You don't know. Damn it, I don't know. <laughs> I even in a love game, I don't know. I'm actually as dumb as Borky right now. Well, it's a good way to get a character. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. All right. You keep working and shoveling. Uh, task. And object eight. Mm -hmm. All right. You guys are uh, in a Gadget's workshop. Uh, it's been cleared out, actually. Uh, and then at this point, um, you watch as Gadget is just like rifling through bins of stuff. 
uh, and object data is pointing out specific power supplies, uh, things that can store various different power supplies. Uh, and one of which you know of is a chicken, uh, which uh, gadgets like grab the, grab the chicken. Object data, grab the chicken. You know where the chicken is. The chicken? Okay. Uh, it is a live chicken. Oh. Yeah, it is a living chicken. Uh, oh. it, it has been in the family for generations. Mm-hmm. Which is not normal for a chicken. What the fuck is happening? Um, so, so you place it on the table. There are orbs. There are weird canisters. There are liquids. Uh, there are even just like metal rods. Um, there is books. There is like just like lines of paper. Um, there are glass like weird like kind of conduit looking things. There's just like a, ominous black boxes, chunks of obsidian, chunks of metal. They're just like laid out on the table. And a chicken. So are we summoning yep. a demon or something? Because this looks like a fucking conjuring setup. We're doing uh, experiments. Please. I'm summoning a demon ritual. <laughs> so barbaric. Kind of like laugh. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. Uh, why are we testing? Well, you ran the stupid thing, and I want to know why. I, I, Tash just like holds his face. It's just like, oh my god, you tell the truth, and no one fucking believes you. It's amazing. It's just like if if anyone just fucking took you for the face value at the front, we would all fucking speed through this. There's a flame in my chest, and Aos talks to me. There's a flame in your chest, and Aos talks to you. Object eight, write that down. Yeah, okay. Alright. Well, hey, Object 8, you picked the first power supply. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I look at the table. Uh, what is the immediate thing in front of me? Uh, the chicken. <laughs> of course. Alright, what's next to the chicken? <laughs> Uh, it is a, just a glass orb, almost like a wizard's orb. It's about the size of a bowling ball, and it's fairly sizable, and it's kind of like a fushigi ball, if you know what a fushigi just... ball is. No. Okay, <laughs> well. <laughs> he, just points, thing. he just immediately points at it because he has, no, he has no idea what to choose. He's so bad at that. All right, you watch his gadget leans over the table and rolls it towards you, Task. Okay, and? Pick it up, come on. Tash just holds his fucking face, shakes his head, and picks it up. Alright. It is heavy. It is purely glass. <gasps> you think, okay. You think, you think. Uh and you hold it and nothing happens. Uh Gadget turns to you up and goes, How long did it take for the the secret project to activate when he was in it? He like looks up and it's, it's like processing a little bit. It was almost immediate. Yeah, that one's out. All right, scratch the conduit, glass conduit. It's out. Don't throw it. Roll it back on the table. I do so. All right, glass conduit's out. She kind of just, like, puts it back in the bin. All right, next one. What do you think, object eight? He points to the right next object that's like... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is the canister. Okay. All right, you kind of push that towards task. Yeah, you're going to want to rest, let's say, rest your finger and your palm on both of the prongs on either side. Just kind of hold it like a sandwich, maybe. Okay, I do so. Okay, you hold it. Nothing as happens. In, as instructed. Okay, that's a bit of a bust. That's what's inside of the dragon as a concurrent. Weird. All right, get here. Abby um, continues to write it down. I just pick up the chicken. Okay. <laughs> you pick up the chicken. Nothing happens. It's a chicken. Huh. Is this thing... How, do you, how is your power source a live creature? Oh, here, let me show you. You watch as uh, she reaches into her pouch and pulls out this, this magical device and just kind of presses this prong. It almost looks like a meat thermometer. Um, she presses the prong into the chicken, and it is um, uh, MGI, so magic generator intervals, uh, is like 100. And this chicken is emitting immense magic. <laughs> it doesn't oh. die. It's invincible. 
and it generates a lot of magic. We tried slotting it into the dragon, and it worked for a little bit, but then didn't work after that. You're telling me it's indestructible. Yeah. Because uh, a few years ago, I found a a head of lettuce that was indestructible. <laughs> she kind of, like, holds the chicken, like, takes the chicken back, and the chicken is not, like, doing anything. The chicken's like, Bruh! just kind of, like, gets handed off and just is, like, not even, like, fussing or fidgeting. I believe the Cloud Giants called it a Heart of Nerasmin. Basically, oh, boy. Magic. Tass just holds his head. Yep, yep. Had to run in with one of those. Hmm. Do you still have it on you? No. Okay. <laughs> well, this one, unfortunately, has a couple problems. One, it needs to be fed, so we can't keep it in the glass chamber. Uh, and also, eh, it's a little inconsistent. Be better on something a bit more, well, consistent and less large. But, eh, you know. What else Project is there on the table? Uh, there's like a long scroll of paper. Uh, and then there's like a light bulb kind of looking thing. I will pick up the scroll. Okay. It is like lines of gibberish. And this is written in what exactly? I don't know. Someone was saying maybe if we wrote, you know, lines of stuff, it would work. It's how we write the intelligence for these guys. You should kind of jabs at them. You kind of like, um, you know, make it spark in certain ways. This is just kind of a guide for that, but uh, something I tells do my... me you don't know how to do that. I, I do my best to read it out loud. It's like a bunch of like letters and like formulas. It makes no sense to you. Yep. Nope. Don't know shit. Put it you down. Just toss, you toss it over your shoulder. All right. And this one, she kind of slides you the, the light bulb. Pick it up. This is okay. foreign to task. They don't know what this is. So yeah, Tash just like, like picks it up by the glass and looks at it. And this is for? Usually light, but it usually can indicate power. We use it to make sure that we don't, you know, electrocute ourselves. Should I actually cast a spell? I mean, you think it'll help? Sure. Uh, sure. Task will. You know what? I haven't used this spell in a while, and since it's fucking heat-based, Task is just like, all right, well, I can't see why this wouldn't work. Task holds up uh, one of his uh, wooden arrows and casts Fire Arrow. Okay, the arrow ignites, and nothing happens with the light bulb. Hmm. Kind of, like, just, like, grabs it from the stem, like, pulls his fist up, and the fire goes away. Hands back the light bulb. Oh, this sucks. She just kind of takes the light bulb and tosses it over her shoulder. Object 8, any theories? Well, he did activate it by touching it. He didn't exactly do anything. Mm, she kind of leans over and looks towards you. I don't have the answer for this. I look over at Object 8. Can't you not just receive wisdom from Oriara? Because that's the genius idea that got me in there in the first place. I told you before, she doesn't contact, she doesn't get contacted, she contacts me. No, but I understand that. What if we try it on a non-working construct? Hmm. Maybe he can bring it to work again. Yeah, we got, we're not touching rejects. She kind of points a finger towards you, Object 8. Hmm. I don't want you anywhere near rejects, but... Maybe the Golem division? I mean, they might have something they're working on that you could maybe pilot. I don't know. We had we had experienced a Golem on our way up here. There was a laboratory of some sorts that used living ooze to create some kind of material. We crafted oh. some kind of mutagen that was purple, and it made the uh, the construct move. She kind of, like, taps her head with her palm and goes, you went, you right, you came, you were in the reject cave. Yikes. Yeah, Yikes. <laughs> we, we, one of my allies banished it and apparently a pair of tiny hands just pushed it back into the plane of existence oh yeah they end up here on occasion and sometimes our own creations turn into those things that's why was we have a, a dead magic zone between us and that was it a tiny creature that looks like a construct but was kind of weirdly flesh and had a singular eye huh she kind of tilts her head I think uh, what did Panic call it a modron Oh, yeah, those are servants of Oriara. 
Yeah, there was one in there just sweeping the floor. It didn't do anything else. Well, if it's there, it means Oriara doesn't want it anymore, and it probably isn't doing what it's supposed to do. So, you know, is, that's what that or place is for. Oriara's fickle like that to just throw objects away? I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but Oriara is a neutral god. More and more of the gods just fucking suck. What makes a man what? turn neutral? <laughs> <laughs> Tell God. my wife I said hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah, you would know that too, Object 8. But Oriara is not evil, but she's not, like, good. She's very neutral. She has her thing, and she, she sticks with it, so. Which is why we're here, doing our own thing. Okay. Are there no temples do you not have clerics that speak well obviously there is no speaking because object eight insists but is there no way that pleas can be heard well the only person who speaks to oriara is robald but he won't see you why is that he mans the pendulum you know the big thing that booms to the mountain uh can obviously like like eyes just shut her open Oriara did say to take him to Robald. What? And he just nods. You gotta be joking. You know how I just, Robald I just is. made I just made your sleeping metal giant fly. Nothing's impossible at this point. Yeah, but Robald doesn't want to see anybody. She kind of leans and looks towards you, Abby. Like, just kind of like, no. I, I know, but Oriara wishes for it. And if she oh. wishes for it, maybe there is an answer. <sighs> Your god is neutral. Oh, fuck you. Yes, like, fuck, fuck me indeed. <laughs> fuck me indeed. <laughs> you just, Abu just does it. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Just get kind of like, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Damn it. God, now the swear protocol is going to activate. This is your Why fault. did you give him a swear protocol in the first because place? Because Oriara said to do it. What the fuck is Oriara think? You know what? Let's go talk to this Robold guy. Why we do we do not just you don't just go and talk to him you idiot. I just walked into your fucking machine on a it's whim. A whole, we can whole, see this robo person. It's a whole mountain full of tasks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, sure. Stop telling me we can't do things and let's just fucking do it. Then how do you how do you think you're gonna do how no no I meant you go how are you gonna do it how are you gonna get to robo? Do I don't know, I don't live here. You gotta give me a little bit of clues to work it out. He doesn't, we don't go to him. He comes to us, and he hasn't come to us for a hundred years. Then! You cut out. Repeat. Where is he, then? He mans the pendulum. He's at the top of the mountain. Like, the actual top of the mountain. Then let's go up the mountain. I just... Oh, my God. We have climbing gear. <laughs> Wait, no. Don't you fucking have flying contraptions that apparently another red kobold took? Look. I would rather die than talk to old Rusty if we're being. I've, uh, no, okay. <laughs> let me let me put it to you this way: I will talk to him because I'm getting sick and tired of hearing voices in my head telling me what to do and not giving me all the fucking answers. I want this to be over so I can kill Darkus and get on with my fucking second life. God, man, what is with you and just demanding answers? Have you not once just found your own? Apparently, and fucking not. If I had my own answer, I would have tried to kill my most hated enemy and probably died in the process. So now at this point in my life, I'm kind of slowing down on what I fucking think, because apparently what I thought was self-destructive. Well, look, you're not going right. anywhere until you and your friends fix this thing, all right? Oh my god. <laughs> look, I'll be just kind of hiding. Look, all right, if you want help... <sighs> Talk to Copper, all right? He's like our bookkeeper. He might know a way up the mountain, but it's mired in magic and Oriara's will. Like, okay. only the greatest castmen in our history have ever gone up there. And you're only supposed to go up there when the pendulum stops swinging, and it never does. Kurt, you're breathing into the microphone. What's up? Oh, I'm actually... Oh. I'm actually far away from my mic right now. So if All you right. want help, 
Talk to Copper, all right? That's all I got for you. And that's all I need, really. I just need a push in the right direction. Because that's, that's all I'm working on. I'm running on fumes to just do what apparently the gods think is right. So I can just get them to shut the fuck up. Let's go talk to Copper, then. Where can I find this person? You'll see them in a the giant stack of books under the big canopy. You can't miss Thank it. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She kind of waves and starts to collect the things. Hey, Object 8. Yes? Trail him and keep him out of trouble, okay? He just kind of looks in the direction of where Task is going. Tasha stands there and looks at him and folds his arms, just like, <laughs> oh, you're going to fail fucking horribly. Let's go. Oh, he's already, like, Avi already looks, like, a little bit sad, just a little bit. He doesn't really like the loud voices and just, like, kind of hunches down but follows anyways. All right, you guys make your way. Uh, eventually, you make your It's so easy to find. It's, like, it's stacks upon stacks of books, which, by the way, the books are way too big for the kobolds and way too big for humans. They're actually huge, massive, obnoxious books. Um, there are stacks of, like, kobold-sized books, but they're significantly smaller, and you currently see... Uh, a, I'd say like middle-aged kobold, male kobold. Um, notably, uh, they have no ears, uh, and it said is replaced with like these sort of like droopy metal, like metal ears that kind of flip down. Um, and they have just like the, the most egregiously large glasses that you could imagine, like you know those goofy oversized novelty glasses that you can get, like that, but actually. Um, they are currently flipping through a large book, and there's various other kobolds who appear to be looking for references and things like that. Um, notably, a lot of the books appear to be in giant room. Um, you get the sense that this is probably traded from the cloud giants. Uh, I, I kind of just, like, look at this person. Excuse me? Yeah? Yeah? Are you copper? Yeah, that would be me. Excellent. I need your help. Okay, we have references if you need any schematics. We have our uh, loadout over there. This private stuff, unfortunately, you're an outsider. We won't let you touch ever since the last incident. When does uh, the pendulum stop swinging, and how do I meet someone called Robold? Uh huh. Uh huh. Did I stutter? I did, but huh? The pendulum doesn't stop swinging unless a chosen is decided. Who decides this chosen? Robold. How do I get Robold's attention? Will you become a great craftsman, of course. <laughs> great. Okay. Who amongst you can be considered the chosen one that can stop the pendulum. Uh -huh. You watch as he kind of strokes his chin. I feel like that's more of a matter of opinion. And, uh, um, I mean, Gadget's work on the constructs has been nothing but successful. Um, well, nuts and bolts, their golem study has been very impressive. Uh, not to mention, uh, I'm sorry, who are you? I am Task of Iron Oath. I fast forward to for brevity to explain what where where they came from, what's happening. All right, yeah, fair enough. You just kind of like sit down and you explain everything, and he he takes it all in. He's not like dismissing you. He's very like asks actually clarifying questions, um, specific names. That, that's times. actually nice. That's fucking nice. Like yeah. Task is fucking relieved that someone is like not just dismissing everything he's saying right from the get go, like everyone else has so far. Hmm. Well, there was one story in our history, and you watch as they begin to flip through a very large book, which appears to be a history book. There was one who tried to brute strength their way up. Was it an orc? No, gods, no. <laughs> Orcs up here! Oh, on the mountain of repetition. Ah, uh, sorry for making a mockery, but uh, that would be absolutely disastrous. Worshippers ganache amongst our kind. Ooh. <laughs> Gives me shivers and chills. Um, no, it was a kobold. Um, I believe his name was... What was his name? Uh, Carbon. That's right, he was Carbon. 
What happened um, to this carbon? Well, he waited for the hour to swing, and he caught... He used uh, magnets to make climbing gear and attempted to climb up the pendulum as it was swinging. He made it about halfway before he was scraped off by the mountain, though, so... Um, mm -mm. Did gravity do its thing, or some other kind of force stop him? I don't know. The history books are vague. They don't really say. I'm assuming he fell, but, well, assumptions don't make history. How does one become chosen? I know it's to craft something, but what kind of craft are they asking for? Uh, usually something that appeals to Oriara. You see, Robald speaks to her directly. And that's what I need. I need someone who can talk to her, because apparently I'm supposed to speak to Oriara. Well, some of the little constructs, he kind of points a uh, finger towards Abby. She speaks to them on occasion. Yes, and that's where I got this information from. Abby here has told me that Oriara, in a flash of brilliance, explained that I had to see this Robold person. So the only other option I have right now is either become a master craftsman, which I can't do in a month, or else my second home is dead in the water, or I climb up this mountain. And the only other way I can think of going up this mountain any other way that doesn't involve climbing is taking a flying contraption. Yeah, actually... By the time the flying contraptions get about part way, they tend to stop, actually. Then I don't know what to do. Mm. I'm sorry, son. Well, if you want, I could find Carvin's old things if you want to take a look. That would lead me somewhere. Okay, I'll go grab them for you. You watch as he kind of climbs down, like using the books as a staircase, kind of climbs down uh, and eventually disappears. I look over at Object 8. Why can't everyone else be as nice as this person? He kind of just like stares directly at Task. It's, it's a thing here. I don't, I, it's more about you being outsiders, I think. Uh, fair enough, circumstances are different. And I know I may seem callous to you, but that's, that roots deep in my kind. And for what it's worth, your assistance has been nothing short of amazing for me. Do not worry about me. I am completely fine. I worry more about you. An outsider that only just showed up here a day ago? Well, your emotions ring loud. I don't think anybody without a reason would feel this way. God, that's the nicest thing anyone has ever said to me. Really? Yes, sadly. His, his eyes shudder a bit. Well, I'll make sure to do it more often. Eh, uh, if you must. He's kind of uh, nods. He's a little bit happy. <laughs> you guys, been to, all of you, begin to hear bells going off. Like, alarm bells. Um, object 8, you would know what this is. This is a reject alarm. Uh, and immediately all the kobolds begin to scatter and hide. Whoa, wait, let's go. Wait, oh, what's going on? Uh, the buff kobolds begin to, like, scramble up the shafts and hide in different spots uh, as you hear kind of yells and screams uh, coming from the surface of the oh, hey, uh, hey, wait, 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 wait. There's no, there's no tiefling-shaped shaped holes. Come on, I need to get to one of the... You're, you're hiding? You're yeah, where's I, my yeah. hide? I was just going to call the alarm, alarm, heads upstairs. Alarm, alarm, <laughs> Yeah, oh, oh. you... There's chaos everywhere. I'm sorry, I'm trying to find my music, but Roll20 decided to open up all of my file folders again. <laughs> Have all the music at the same time! Whoa! Ariara. All right. As you guys scramble up, and none of you guys can hide in any of these hiding spots, except for Task, you could. Um, you see a cobalt thrown out of a window and, like, crashes onto the ground and is just kind of like... Uh, kind of lumps over. Uh, you watch bursting from one of the buildings is a large metal golem that lumbers out. Half of it's finished and the other half is unfinished. Um, Abby, as it turns its head, it looks at you and you feel this chill inside mm. of your own like soul. It kind of perturbs you and you felt this before. This is not your <laughs> first experience with a reject. Um, as it kind of makes its way over and sees the lot of you, as you guys, I'm assuming, all group up together in um, oh, yeah. the center of the square. Yeah, Everyone yeah, else yeah. has run. Um, I'd like everybody to roll initiative for me. 
All right. Oh. All right. Let's There's fucking no go. There's no map because I couldn't find any tokens that I could use to represent this place, and I also didn't have time to draw one. I'm very sorry. Fine. It's going to be a seven uh, for me. I'm going to go 11. with the 12. Oh, wait. <laughs> I don't have a token. Wait, hold on. <laughs> You're fine, don't worry about it, just roll. Okay, sweet, all right, yeah, I yeah. roll. Uh, you actually got the yeah. highest roll. Here I go, initiative 14. With a Ooh. negative one dex. Yeah. Oh, then I guess that means I get front. All right, so we have... Ooh, these are some rolls. We have Tash. <laughs> yeah. We have Obby. Mm -hmm. We have... Uh, wow, two 12s from Borky. Borky? And then we have, uh, it's looking like Freckles. Mm -hmm. And then Panic. Panic, you come out and you're like There's... covered in canvas. <laughs> huh? Well, I, I have two new, two needles in my hands and one of them is stitched, in, well, like some fabric is stitched <laughs> in my hands. I'm just like, how did this happen? <laughs> oh no, you got yourself, a, you got yourself, you're pretty much made it like a, a I'm... finger, finger bridge. <laughs> I'm, I'm just like like trying to pull the needle the, the the fabric out of my hands at the moment so I'm just I, I'm never I'm never in between I'm always first or last it's weird all right so uh do you guys want to take a break before we start combat uh, sure. uh, I, don't, yeah. I don't mind are you guys good to go if we keep going I mean after yeah. the combat would need a break but yeah all right, all yeah, right. If, if we can so. take a break after that'd be good task as this thing turns its head its eyes are just these glowing red and it's just like off-putting um something about it like you guys have met tons of constructs and they've all been very friendly and very like approachable this one's not it's big and it's really scary i hate it cool all right here i go hunter's mark all right uh i'm gonna use my full movement to back the fuck up because i am a zone boy Okay, you do. You kind of get into, like, you get on top of a building where that gives you a good vantage point. You kind of scramble up the stairs and kind of, like, just kind of rest your knee down, pull out your bow. All righty. So, Hunter's Mark, and away we go. 22 both ways. That hits. Cool. All right, so that plus Hunter's Mark. That's nine points of piercing damage coming from a silver arrow. All right. Followed by my second shot, which, if hits, will proc Colossus Slayer. 23. Ooh. That hits. All right. That and away we go. 15. All right. Yeah, very nice. Looks like I'm just calculating damage here real fast. It's going to be that. All right. Very nice. Yeah, you strike out two arrows. They do stick inside of it, and it kind of, like, leans back a little bit uh, and then kind of repositions itself. It's very tall. This thing is is quite tall. It's probably about 12 to 15 feet tall. Um, mm. And you notice there's kind of, like, some sparks in its side, but it just quickly, like, <laughs> grabs the arrows and just pulls it out and just tosses it to the side. Question. <sighs> we keep doing this. I get a second Hunter's Mark or no? Uh, I believe... Colossus Slayer proc each turn. I believe Hunter's Mark is just once. I we always get the two confused. Yeah. Uh, God, I can't remember. Oh well, whatever. I don't give a shit. We we'll move on. I'll, I'll look it up. Yeah, yeah just like, dude, dude, up. it's not a big deal. We can move on. <laughs> All right. Uh, Obby, it is now your turn. Oh boy, uh, okay, here I go. It, just real quick, <laughs> it says until the spell ends, you deal an additional extra one d six damage to a target whenever you hit with a weapon. So, so it's, it's every time. Mark. Yeah, so roll it's again. every Hunter's time. Mark. Another three. Okay, perfect. Thank you. There we go. All right. Object no 8 is now your turn. So I have a question. Uh, since this thing is made out of metal, does heat metal work on it? It doesn't have flesh. So oh. technically it wouldn't affect it, I would say. Oh, like, okay. Yeah. Because mm. um, the idea is that it would hurt something that is holding it or hurt the flesh beneath or around Wait, it. Wait, but you, yeah. you let me do heat metal on the construct down when I got stabbed. Yeah, but it had something inside of it that made that a thing. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, right, this, this, this one oh, this one doesn't. This one's big and it would take a lot. So unfortunately, I'm going to say no for you. I gotcha. Okay, but you would, know, you, would, you would know that object date. It's just yeah. too solid. Yeah, I have I haven't done this in such a long time. I'm so no, you're Fine, good. Go you're for good. it. Oh, my no, God. You're good. You're good. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm waiting with bated breath to see what you are. 
Hmm. Uh, I think he's gonna take it uh, carefully at first and uh, kind of like with his hands grab out a two-handed spear okay. and uh, just run directly at it. Okay, you grab a spear and just start running towards this thing. <laughs> so you reach it uh, yeah. within 30 feet. It's within 30 feet okay. of you. Yeah, so I just gotta press it, yeah? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Oh. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Shit. <laughs> oh, it's a natural no. one. Why oh, does it have to be my first one? Uh, <laughs> oh, my All right, God. I'm gonna roll severity for this one. Just a giant fist. Oh, oh my God! Okay, it's I'm Chris for you... life. So you walk up, and it's basically this. <laughs> oh my god, that technique! <laughs> execute, execute, execute! What's the reverse of Ultra Instinct? Exterminate. <laughs> ultra Blunder. <laughs> exterminate, exterminate! Oh no! Alright, that is your action. Oh, uh, can I uh, can I also use a bonus action? Yes, you can, yeah. If you have uh, a, anything that lets you that you can use to utilize the bonus action. Uh, because from what I saw, I can I could use no wait. The searing smite? That's only if you hit. Mmm shit. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> you can cast gonna... it though. You can cast oh, yeah, it and yeah. if you hit, then if oh. you hit, then it does damage. Oh, okay, alright, yeah, that's what I that's what I thought. I thought it was because of this round. No, I'll I'll as a bonus action then after that failure, just gonna cast Searing Smite. Alright, you cast Searing Smite on your weapon. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it begins to glow with a with kind of with a flame. Uh, as you just as you kind of jab at <laughs> this 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 being. Yeah. Uh, it is now the golem's turn. Uh, it was fired at and it does not notice the lack of damage from Abi, uh, but notices the damage it got from Task. Uh, and you watch as a single beam uh, begins to correlate, like almost like a targeting system on you, Task. And I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh god, he rolled he rolled a raw level three. Shit. <laughs> oh no, he has lasers. He's a Gundam. Oh, 12. All right. Oh wait, that's a roll. Oh, that is a save. Sorry. Go ahead. All right, so I need to roll. I'm just gonna grab a dice roller for this one. Mm. All right. Uh, you take 29 points of fire damage. Ouch. Oh. Wait, that's resisted. Which is halved, so it brings it down to 14. Uh, nice. As a fireball, it fucking explodes uh, oh. on your position, blowing up part of the building with you. I'd like to imagine that, like, the fucking helmet, just, like, I pull down the visor and, like, it kind of, like, splits down the middle, but I still take hits. Yeah, it, it still burns you, but you manage to oh, kind yeah. of, like, catch yourself. Giant... Uh, your vantage point is, uh, like, destroyed. It is the, gone. The giant oh, direct is coming cooking. for you, Zito, and you needed a little umbrella to protect yourself from it. <laughs> Yo, listen, I was not expecting this man to fucking raw level three proton cannon at me, okay? It's <laughs> <laughs> my side <laughs> best! Uh, the golem begins to lumber forward, not noticing Abby at all. It just doesn't even notice. <laughs> oh. um, it's going to leave your combat range, which you can use your reaction to attack it if you would like to try to, to hit it. Uh, as it yeah, makes I'll, its I'll, way towards the rest of the party. I'll do that then, yeah. Okay, so go ahead and roll to hit. Okay. A 17. That, that just hits. Oh. Wait, so how do I roll for attack now? Click, like, on, click, on, the, uh, click on the text that says spear two-handed. Okay. On, in the, there you there go. You go. All right, so you go, to, you go to stab it. Yeah. Nothing happens, but you have your smite because you activated it. So you can yes. go ahead and, and roll your smite. Oh, no, how do I do that? Wait, hold on. <laughs> me, it's me, 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 pee pee brain, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. Uh, where the, it's. Let me see here. Uh, oh, here we go. Oh wait, no, that's not how it works. <laughs> no. Oh no. Oh. It never Hang got on. Cuz I'm an oh. idiot. Oh, yeah, I'll that's what I thought because I'll it's not it. Yeah. Yeah, we'll grab it here. Yeah, give me just one second. Uh, I should have it here. My internet's being really slow. Uh 1d6 fire damage. 1d6. Okay. Here. What well, well, what level spell slot did you use for the searing smite? Uh it's a one. Alright, 
uh, okay the... so yeah yeah okay here we go wait let me just oh me here <laughs> there a oh, six wow, that damage. Nice. nice so uh, you stab into it and again it's just but then <laughs> the foot catches fire yeah and as it walks away it leaves like a footprint of fire as it walks away taking eight points of damage <gasps> Activated turnabout. Holy shit. Nice. <laughs> me, I'm useless. Me now. Me big. <laughs> uh, as it approaches uh, the rest of you guys, it gets within tw like 10 feet of you guys. Uh, and it is going to actually point towards Borky. Oh, Borky's just climbing, oh. is coming up from a ladder. Hey guys, what's going? Oh. <laughs> actually, no, it's going to be on all of you guys. Uh, so targets one or more creatures that can see within 10 feet of it each. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what? Yeah. So I need Borky, Greckles, and Panic to make wisdom saving throws for me. How many ashes does this thing wisdom. have? Yeah, wisdom saving throw. Oh, good. That's a 10. Okay. Here I go. Seven. Oh, five. five. Oh, wow. Uh, right. yeah. Do we, all get Do we all just get stuck in the door trying to enter the room? Or like, oh, God, no, no, now we're stuck. Wait, now we're you guys, as you guys are, wait. I'm going to use its inspiration to re-roll okay. that. Go right ahead. Come on. 12? Nope. Uh, ah. as, as you guys are like, whoa, this thing is approaching us. The world around you is suddenly really, really fast. Task and Abby, you watch as the rest of the party is moving really slow. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's stupid in slow mo. Why are they all running away? We're all talking. I don't have a, don't have a fast forward button for this. <laughs> Uh, so you guys, See. so those who have failed, you guys can't use reactions. All of your speeds are halved, and you can't make more than one attack on a turn. Oh. Okay, okay, so, <laughs> so hang on, no reactions, half damage, uh. half speed. No reactions, half speed. speed. You can only make one attack on your turn, and you can uh -huh. only make either an action or a bonus action, and not both. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So you guys are slowed completely down. Slow it way down. Okay. All right. That ends this this mechanical mechanical demon's turn. Uh, Borky, it is now your turn. This thing is suddenly very fast, and you're like, no, Whoa. was this like a beam it hit us with? It was just a radius. It was like a scan. Like, oh, okay. So that yeah. I couldn't. Have There's no way to. Basically, you just got the world, though. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. How far away is this thing? How, it how, is how ten feet? It is ten feet away from you. Borky just takes Rob Vaughn. Here I come to save the day. Boom, great sword hit. And that is a 25. Oh. Hey, that does hit. It's slow, but it hits with the same sort of like propulsion. <laughs> if you get hit, it's your own oh. oh. 13. All right, 13 points of damage. It hits. It doesn't hit it as hard as you expect, but it does hit. All right, uh, you slowly make your way up. You hit with your one attack, and that ends your turn. Uh, Greckles, it is now your turn. The world around you is super fast, and you feel very sluggish. Uh, I guess I'm gonna try to blur it. Uh, so 40 feet. Um, it, it, so it takes 20. 20, so 10 to get there, correct? Yeah, 10 to get uh, there. And attempting to flank to get okay. sandwiched with Borky. Um, and yeah, slowly, like, 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 like the, the, like a Literally. sleepy, like an exceptionally sleepy old raver, Greco slowly pulls out the sun blade. You see, uh, Abby, you, you see this, 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 this blade of light come out and it would be way more impressive if it wasn't going at a snail's pace. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, 16, 17, 18, cause flanking. Uh, plus, yeah, so that does hit with flanking. All right, uh, sneak attack damage. Actually, hold on, uh, just because I'm thinking here. 
10 to get there. And then you actually can't flank because that would be two spaces away, uh, which would be another 10. So you actually can't flank with 20. Wow, really? Large, large creatures take four tiles and you'd have to go around it. Oh, yes. Yeah, don't sorry. have enough. Uh, this is yeah, why we need a map. Oh, but no, it's sorry. Fine. Um, so that is that unfortunately you do not have flanking. Uh, okay, in that case, um, because I was not aware of that, can I withdraw that action and do yeah, something absolutely. else? Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Um, I will use my. F can I use my? Hmm. I'm gonna use my full. Can I still use my full action to dash if that's all I do? Yeah. Okay. In that case, I'm gonna use my full well, action. Can... Hmm? Oh, never mind. Never mind. Okay. No, I, I'm up to ideas. Um, I forgot you're slowed. You can't. You can't. Yeah. So I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use my full action to. I guess get thirty feet behind it, directly behind it. Like, actually, no. Crap! Stupid slow. Now I have to do math. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, I will get ten. Excuse me. Ten feet directly behind it, okay. uh, par parallel to Borky. Okay. And uh, which, by the way, uh, Borky, mm -hmm. roll another wisdom saving throw for me. Oh please! I would love that. Come on, Borky. Use your big brain. You're not bad at it. Oh, natural oh, one. Natural oh. one. Yeah. You're Duh. Right. You're really slow, and mm. uh, Freckles, same with you. Uh, okay. You can repeat the same throw. Forty. That's a five. <laughs> you're so slow. Panic! It is now your turn. Oh boy, do I get to repeat the saving throw? No, it's your turn. Okay. End of turn. I'll just I'll looks around slowly. What the <laughs> not you? Silly question. Are do, no, I we're can fighting talk to you right now. Fre Greckles and Panic, I'm guessing we could all understand each other in real time, right? <laughs> yeah. Sure, yeah. Guys, I think something's wrong. They're all moving so fast. No, this is <laughs> fucked. I'm just going to, I'm just going, I don't care about these kobolds. They made me poke my fingers with needles. I don't care if I fucked up their shop. You're saying shop. this really slow and you're dragging out everything. This thing is going to die. I'm going to cast Shatter. At fourth level, okay, on the, on, the, Jesus. It, on the thing, trying to aim it away from my friends, it has disadvantage. Okay, they are on either side of it. Um, so on Borky's side. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead and click shatter for me. And that's, shatter. That's a constitution saving throw, correct? Constitution saving throw at disadvantage because it's a construct. Oh. Mm. Uh, so Fair. it will take uh, 24 thunder damage. It got a 19 because uh, it is a solid creature. Uh, so does it take half? It takes half. That's 24. So 12, 12. 12 points of. You still hurt it. You still hurt it pretty badly. Boom. This large cacophonous explosion echoes out across the uh, across the workshop. Panic screams, "Get the fuck out here and fight, you coward!" <laughs> All right, uh, you can roll a wisdom saving throw. Oh boy! <laughs> <laughs> Hey! Natural 20! They yes. heard it in real time. <laughs> you watch this, everything goes... <laughs> you come back up to normal speed and you're like, whoa. <laughs> Get the fuck out there and fuck you cowards! He watches a cobalt that's peeking outside the window hides. All right. Task, back at the start of the turn order. You are kind of scrambling up some rubble at the moment. Okay, uh, move back some more because that that's my thing. Keep the zoner away. But I'm also, can I find somewhere that gives me some cover? Uh, yeah, sure. I will say, based on your position, you can kind of hide on the second level up behind some barrels. Okay, so before I move then, I'm going to take my hits and then take cover. All right. Cool. Uh, here I go doing the shoot bang. 21. That hits. Cool. So that plus Colossus Slayer and Hunter's Mark. Okay, one second. Let me check that damage. Here. So that's twelve. Okay. Excuse me. Twelve. Just gonna do that and then that. You shoot twice again, and they're sticking. These arrows are sticking. 
uh, as you kind of run. And oh, I didn't, I didn't make the second shot. Oh, yeah, yeah, go ahead, sorry. 28. Yeah, that hits. Cool, that, and then this. So that's another 11 points of damage. 11, perfect. Uh, you kind of go running and you like do a running cowboy dive behind the barrels and like kind of knock your back up against the the, the barrels and kind of load another arrow from your quiver. Dutch. <laughs> Dutch. All right. Obby, it is now your turn. Me. Question. The cool. yes. uh, how close are people to the this thing? So you have Greckles to the north of it, who's closest to you, and then you have Borky yeah. to the south of it, and they're like kind of sandwiching this thing. Mm -hmm. uh, and then Panic uh. is about 10 feet away from that, uh, opposite to where you are. It has moved 30 feet away from you, so... Okay, that is not a good idea to use that then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's too many people in the vicinity. Uh, I think he's just going to do the same thing and try with the two-headed spear again. Okay, did you want to cast another smite before you ran up? or? Uh, hmm. Because you can use your bonus action before your action to, to do a smite. Oh. Uh... Yeah, sure, I'll, I'll do that again. Okay. Uh, what level? Because you can do it at multiple levels and it does more damage. Uh, ooh, hmm. Sorry for not putting that in. I feel really dumb. I, knew I, was that I don't know how this works. <laughs> so, so basically, when you use another level, you're using another spell slot of that oh, level, but it's okay. you're, use, you're using a lower level spell. So, like, you could be like, I want to use like a like a fourth level spell slot, and it does like four d six damage instead. Mm. But it's like a first level spell normally. Yeah, so it's just an upgraded version of a weaker spell. I think I'm gonna cast that level two then. Okay, that's me two d six if you hit. So you okay. kind of kind of cast the spell on your spear and you run up again. Uh, you can actually flank because you have a murder mm -hmm. sandwich in front of you. So that gives you plus two to hit. So just okay. go ahead and roll your attack with your spear, two-handed. Oh, oh, it's not working. Hold on. It may take a second. Oh, oh, oh wait, whoop, there's the first one. <laughs> 23, that's yeah. 25 technically, that hits. Go ahead and roll yeah. damage on the weapon. So just click the weapon damage. Okay, wait, hold on. Okay. okay. Once again, as you go to swing down with the spear, it doesn't do anything, but the smite goes off. So go ahead and roll 2d6 fire damage. Oh, hell yeah. Wait, here we go. 2d6. That's six. Okay. Yeah, you go and you smack the leg and you... It's almost like taking like a, um, like a torch to it. It's not really like, you know, like, ooh, fire or like heat yeah. metal, which is kind of like a, like a slow sort of increase of heat. This is like taking a blowtorch to this thing and you are piercing holes into it and actually destroying parts of the, uh, the interior. Alrighty. Uh, it still doesn't notice you, though. Hmm. Hmm. It only oh. wants to kill the meat puppets. All Good right. to know. <laughs> it is now the golem's turn. Uh, at the start of each of its turn until the spell ends, the target must make a constitution saving throw. Uh, on a failed save, it takes 1d6 fire damage. On a successful save, the spell ends. So this also does hurt it as well. So it has to make a constitution saving throw, which it has, yeah, it has advantage on. One second, I'm going to sneeze. I'm so sorry. Oh God, now I'm not going to sneeze. God damn it, I hate That's that. That's how it always works. Uh, oh no, uh, you're going to die. Uh, uh, wouldn't, uh, wouldn't that have mean? Uh, wouldn't that have meant? To, wouldn't that have meant to had a, had to make a Constitution saving throw after I shattered it? Uh, well, it mm. did, and it succeeded. Oh, never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I rolled for it. It got a nineteen. Remember? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, unfortunately, it succeeds. Uh, it succeeds with a twenty-five. So, or not twenty-five. Sorry, uh, twenty-three. Uh, so, unfortunately, your smite doesn't continue. Oh, that's what it's for. Okay. Yeah, it's resisting the smite. The smite has an additional effect where it, on its turn, it can take more damage if it fails a constitution saving throw, but unfortunately succeeded. But I'm um, going to see if it gets its stuff back. It definitely has its first beam back, but the second one might not. Oh, so it's like a dragon. Ah, Good. <laughs> uh, it does not. All right. So uh, to start, uh, it is going to trail you again, Task. Uh, and you cure that noise again. I need to make a dexterity saving throw. Uh, this time with advantage, because you went for cover. Yay! <laughs> Please roll good. Ah, balls, 13. Fortunately, that's a failure. Uh, as, again, another explosion ricochets across 
Uh, this time you take 35 points of damage, which is reduced to half, which will bring you to... Uh, it's going to be 34 cut in half. is going to bring you down to 17. Uh, let's see. Divided by two. Yeah, seven, I have my calculator out. 17. Yep. 17. You take 17 points of fire damage as, again, the barrels are just... They're metal barrels. They are just blown to shreds. Uh, and you kind of roll over on your side and are like, ah, as you kind of scramble up. Uh, the eye is like, the head is like turning and trailing you. It's very puppet-like and almost doll-like in nature. It's very creepy. Uh, Bitch. <laughs> uh, the other eye locks close. It doesn't work, but it swings with two of its arms. It's going to swing towards uh, one for Greckles and then one for you, Borky. Oh, that's okay. right. This thing has, this thing, does this thing reach out to 10 feet? Yeah, it has 10 okay. feet. Okay. Yeah. What do you need me to roll? Uh, nothing. It's going to attack you. It's a regular attack. I I, I dodge. Uh -huh. That's my that's my uh, that's my job. First on you, Borky. That's going to be a. Uh, oh, sorry. No, it does not have actually reach. Sorry, I'm reading the wrong thing. Okay, that's why uh, I stayed ten feet out. <laughs> yeah, so it's not it's not going to attack you. I'm so sorry. It's that's okay. I was just curious. Uh, so it's going to spend both on Borky. Um, so the first attack is going to be a twenty five on you, Borky. <laughs> Okay, that hits. Yeah, yeah. I had one more. There it is. We we joke, Monty, but I'm actually very happy that you you call your rolls out. Sorry. You take 18 points of bludgeoning damage. Mm. You were not raging, so you take the full brunt of it. Yeah, I do. I do. Oof. Uh, second attack. That's a natural 20. Um, I I I, I, I rage. This is gonna hurt. This oh, is this is gonna. Hurt. Oh, that previous no. roll was very tame. Remember Monday? <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. Yeah. Double dice. Oh god. <laughs> oh, Don't Borky's about to get. Like oh that, no, Martin. Borky's about to get. He's about to get low keyed. This is. Oh no. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta. I gotta calculate the. Oh god, I hate the great math. irony. Actually, uh, actually, Nadine. Uh huh. I activate run false ability if I'm allowed to do that. That's a reaction. Yeah, you can do that to give. I it can do that. Okay, yeah. good. I saved it for natural twenties, especially. So Wait, no, me. you can't because you're, you're slow. You you're don't slowed. have reaction. Oh damn it! Yeah. No reactions. <laughs> you can't do that, unfortunately. Oh, it's a read. There ever was one. Uh, oh hard. boy, this is gonna hurt. Here comes the pain. You take 37 points of bludgeoning damage <laughs> as you get punched and as you're trying to dodge the second time, just like a whack-a-mole, it brings down its fist on the top of your head and you sink like a good foot into the ground. Your neck cracks inwards, your shoulder blades like sting as you are you are just absolutely jackhammered into the ground. Gee! <laughs> this is all happening very quickly to Borky, by the way. Oh yeah, it's so fast. It's like a Gary's mod video. Um, Almost like a fucking anime video, like anime <laughs> fight. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Like no, 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 Gary's what mod video. You know, you, you know what just happened to Borky? Uh, the the love interest just hit his protagonist ass. <laughs> oh, God. That's what you, just critical damage. <laughs> All right, that ends uh, this creature's uh, turn. Uh, Borky, it is now your turn as you come climbing out of your hole. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'll hope you realize this is war. <laughs> Rex is back. <laughs> Do I get a wisdom save at the end of my turn? Yeah, it's at the end. Well, Borky's going to hit him with his magic sword, Ron Fault. Okay, go ahead and roll the hit. No flanking because Greckle's backed off. I'm going to hit him even harder. Oh, but you have Obby, so you do have flanking, actually. Oh! Natural one. Nope, flanking. 11. 11! No, no, it doesn't. It doesn't oh, wait, right, right, right. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Well, oh, it is plus two, so technically it's an 11, but, you know. Uh, is that a natural one, though? That, that natural one carries? All right, uh, low severity again. <laughs> <laughs> As you just start swinging at its leg and it's not doing anything. Someone play that in slow mo. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, yeah. Ah, oh, damn it. It won't work. Yeah. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> roll a wisdom saving throw, Borky, assuming you're not going to move this turn. Well, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean... You're still slow, buddy. 
Wow, wow, roll Whoa. 20, wow. <laughs> uh, Greckles, it's now your turn. I got some porky. Everyone's so much quicker than us, what's happening? <laughs> I don't know, I'm going for it. Okay, ten, uh, movement 10 feet up uh, to attack, and this time, hopefully, the flank correctly this time. Okay, yeah, absolutely, easy enough. What? <laughs> That's 25, six, seven. That hits and you get sneak attack. All right, so radiant damage going out. So we've got eight plus, let me get my 5d6. Wait, come on, come on. We who? Oh, those are low numbers. Oh, those are gross low numbers. Oh. 16, 16. Oh. Oh. But, but 16 radiant. So this, shit, imagine it's a damage. Slow, imagine a slow lightsaber just softly cutting through a wall. <laughs> It's like you're trying to hack down a tree with a chainsaw, but it's a lightsaber. It's, it's, not, like really, it's, not, it's like it's, it's not the blue blur; it's the blue outlined image. It's fine, don't worry about it. Uh, and then I'll use the rest. I'll re use the rest of my movement to move back to my ten foot position. Okay. Uh, mobile is not affected by this like this effect, so yeah, you do manage to get by nimbly. It doesn't even react to you. It doesn't react like a normal living thing would. Is this thing reacting to damage at all? No, it's not flinching. It is unflinching. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's getting, it's getting damage. Like you slice into its hand, and it, it, you see sparks erupt from it. So you assume you're doing damage, but it doesn't care. Right. Uh, all right. That brings us uh, to oh, you. Can I can I do my roll? Yeah, I was about to say that. So. Sorry. Please. Seventeen. That is exactly what you needed. You are oh, back up to normal speed. Hello. Huh. <laughs> How'd you get here so fast? <laughs> What's happening? Porky <laughs> was so fast around him. <laughs> ah! Panic, it is now your turn. Man, fuck this. <laughs> and bonus action. Uh, I'm going to use a uh, use of my Bardic Inspiration to activate Mantle of Inspiration. Oh, hot uh, damn. Obby, Greckles, Borky, Task. Fortunately, Borky uh, does I, not have a reaction to use it, so... No, that's fine. He still gets the temporary HP. That's true. He does, yeah. Yay! Um, I have one person left I can target with this. Uh, I'll... If I can see one of the kobolds, I'll just be like, You! Get the fuck in here! <laughs> tag, do a hot tag, dude. Do a uh, hot tag. Get him in. Get him. Uh, all of you get... Uh, it's not... It's eight temporary hit points. Awesome. Cool. Is it on uh, and you can, and so, those of you so, who have made your save can use your reaction to move up to your speed. So, so Shenpai, uh, temporary hit points, uh, if you notice, beneath your normal hit points, um, yeah. you put them there. So you put eight there. So if you get hit for like 10 damage, you take away the eight that's there, and then it, the rest would go towards your normal health. Oh, so okay, like, sweet. Basically, you get like a shield, kind of, like a little shield. Yeah. Health. Oh, sweet. I'm awesome. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I know. All right, Borky stays where he is because he can't even I'm... hear you playing music. It's like a really, it's like anti nightcore. <laughs> it's weird. It's like, <laughs> oh, so, oh, so it's vaporwave then. Yeah. <laughs> I got, I, it, it's, it, I'm it's, sorry it's... we <laughs> open the cream pie. <laughs> I'm glad we went to the same song at the same time. <laughs> It was oh, like, I just, I imagine oh, that weird man. little hop he does, right? <laughs> 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 Marty, I'm gonna, I'm gonna anyway. stand my 10 feet out because I want my reaction. So, okay. um, with my action, I'm just gonna point at this thing and say, off now, and I cast Dispel Magic at fourth level. Okay. This is not, this is high. So you're gonna have to probably roll for this one if it requires You can dispel roll. magic? Really? Yeah, this is, this is, this is high class, like craft and magic, so. Yeah, we were fighting rejects before. This is a fucking reject. <laughs> not all yeah, rejects are born equally. Oh. There's still rejects, but for, all right. So I'm, I'm rolling Arcana then? Yeah, you're rolling Arcana. <laughs> Believe it. Okay. Believe it. Hold on. I'm going to grab the spell magic real fast. Uh, 10. Oh, 10? That's not going to do it. Uh, for each spell. Well, I, I'm, I'm casting it at fourth level. Should cast that on me, but thank you. Cast a spell using a spell of fourth level or higher. You automatically end the effect of a spell on the target if the spell's evil is equal to 
or less than the spell of the level slot you use. You're, you're, you're casting it at fourth level? I'm casting it at fourth level, yes. Okay. Well, this is considered sixth level. That's how I have it noted ah! down. Damn! Yeah, this is this is an advanced creature. This is not like your run of the mill thing. It's it's an advanced weapon, so that's what I have it noted down as. So, oh jeez, yeah. You cast your hand out, and for a second, it comes right back. Like it, it kind of almost taunts you a little bit. Good strat, though. Uh oh, and Pam's gonna run, run away. <laughs> okay, you run away. Uh, Brave that, Sir Robin. That brings us to you, Task, as you kind of like brush off the flames and like little charred bits of, of metal on your shoulder. You kind of dust it off and you pull out your bow. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do the same thing again. Fucking hit, hit, run for cover. Okay. Uh, here I go. 23. That hits. Go ahead and roll damage. All right, 11 plus 5, so 16. Ooh. Points of damage. Give me one second here. Sure thing. That's the perfect. Man, I so I All right. That one second. strikes and it hits it in its neck, and the, the head kind of tilts to the side a little bit. Okay, we are doing damage then. Hit again. Yeah. 30 both ways. Yes. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and roll damage. Uh, and plus nine. Alrighty. You strike another one. This one hits. It's it, gla it grazes it and does hurt it, but it doesn't do as much as the other one did. Mm -hmm. well, this, thing's you, this thing's got a fucking hard on for me, so I guess I'm gonna go for cover again. As you run for cover, um, there's not that much. Um, you kind of have to drop down and hide behind what looks like a well of some kind, um, and just kind of like duck behind that. Okay. Actually, it's the little chain carousel, the kind of like the. Elevator. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh, that thing. All right, that brings us to you, Abby. <laughs> hmm. Go get him! Uh, hey, how much? <laughs> how much damage did Borky <laughs> take again? Like, like a lot. <laughs> uh, like, uh, okay, I'll say, I'll say this. I started with a fair amount, and now I have less, much, uh, less than half of that. Oh, okay. Well, then Abby, Abby is close right now, right? Yeah, you can you could reach him if you wanted to without okay. Like so range. yeah, uh, Abby is going to move over and use cure wounds at level two. Okay. Oh, nice! This giant so... heal bot just runs through. <laughs> Stand still! You are being medicated. <laughs> ah! Oh my god! They're coming to get me! It's a giant syringe. Oh god! <laughs> Do not resist. <laughs> <laughs> this is for your own benefit. Oh my god! That's what they all say. <laughs> That's I, I. I always I think about the freaking Soviet Womble video where he's like giving people morphine. He's like, would you can you consider yourself sexually active? Like he's just like asking all these random questions. <laughs> Take my comfort arm. <laughs> Oh my god. All right, so, so go ahead and comfort arm. It's like it's like a punch but like right in the ribs so it's like uh, Shen just go ahead and click Ooh. the click the spell and then it should say cast at what level and just pick 2. Mm. Oh wait, hold on. What? No, I'm stupid. You, you got to you got to click the actual like the name so cure wounds like up where like the red dot is to the uh, yeah, yeah. the right of it. Just click the 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 name and then it should show like cast at what level and then it should be a drop down bar that should say one or two, so you just want to hit two. Ooh, I actually do not see that. I think I might be stupid. <laughs> here, here, just click. Oh, no, you get the wrong thing. So yeah, you that's spells. A, yeah. Uh, first level spell, Cure Wounds. So you just want to click yes. the name. Click the name. Oh, okay. God, I'm dying. And then it should <laughs> I, show. I, need you feel the way that I you did, but it's not doing anything. Oh, weird. Okay, I'll do it for you. Oh, no, I want that to Haiti. All right, there we go. Oh. There we go. Seven for Borky. Thank you very much for the seven healing. You're welcome. It goes like, my healing sounds like. <laughs> it's like it's like a microwave, like. A... <laughs> oh oh no, there's metal on my armor. Ah, <laughs> uh, healing go <laughs> Take the uranium yellow cake inside. It will heal you. <laughs> you can't heal with your metal arm. He <laughs> he, healing go <laughs> Oh, 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 I'm gonna die. Right. <laughs> it is now the golem's turn. Oh, good. All right. 
Uh, all right, it doesn't get back its thing. So it's going to, again, task. It's going to aim towards you. I need to make oh, another saving throw with advantage, though. Oh my god, this thing Dude. fireballs every turn. Yep. Oh god, fucking damn it all to shit. Uh, it's dexterity. an advanced weapon. It is an advanced weapon. No, 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 no. Dude, I get it. It's fine. It's a weapon. You have an advantage, though. I do have advantage. I can't wait. Oh, 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 at least it's not oh, fucking a natural oh, one. <laughs> Guys, let's all just refresh roll 20. At this point. Uh, you know, so, I feel like that's as, a good idea. As you're hiding behind, the fireball uh, shoots out. Uh, you take 31 points of fire damage, which is reduced to half to 15. What the fuck? Uh, yeah. The elevator shaft, like you hear the chain breaks and the whole thing collapses. Uh, but it takes a brunt of some of the damage, but you still take 15 points of damage as well. Technically seven. Of you. Technically seven because of the temp HP. That's true. That's true. You do have panic temp HP. You're welcome. You're well. Hey, now, now I, I I staved away having to use a potion for one more turn. This this sucks, guys. I feel like we're the guards at the start of Final Fantasy VI. Oh. oh God! Oh, fuck me! Those poor, <laughs> those poor fucks. That's Bigs those and Wedge, poor... dude. Bigs and Wedge, or were they? The... No, the no, no, no. The guards, the, the guards. guards you, right. Your guards are taken out when you get in town. You show up there with your mechs. They're like, we're gonna stop you with our swords. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, All right. Borky and Obby. Uh, there's gonna be an attack on each of you. Oh, okay. So Borky. No. Uh, that's a natural one. Yeah! <laughs> About time. Uh, so it's gonna roll severe. Can I use it to try and block for Obby? Uh, no, because it's not okay. severe, so it just misses. It swings and it, like, hits the ground, and there's a sizable dent in, like, like slow motion, like the Matrix, you lean backwards to <laughs> dodge it. <laughs> um, which all of you guys see, and it's pretty incredible. Um, <laughs> nice job! <laughs> Slow-mo um, ultra instinct. Uh, ooh, that's going to be a 28 to hit you. <laughs> ooh. Just kicks you. Just yeah, bang. that hits me. That All hits right. me. <laughs> uh, it steps on you. Oh, oh, oh. no! Oh, oh, you like a... Nice. <laughs> uh, you take... Accordion sounds. 20 Robert points of Robert. bludgeoning damage as it just oh. stomps on top of you. Part of you gets very sizably dented, but you're still functioning. So you take okay, 20 wait. points of, of bludgeoning damage. Don't forget to take away eight because of- now I, need to, now I need to math. That's 12. 12. It's 12. Yeah. Yeah, 12. Good thing I took off my pain inhibitors. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> 12. I can't math. Wait. Uh, that would bring you to- uh, Yeah. 60, 63. Yeah. 63? Okay. Yeah, 63. All right. Borky, it is now your turn. Boy, is it. All righty. Um, all right. Can I can only do one thing a turn? Yeah, you're still slowed. Borky holds Ron Fault one hand, and Borky goes into a frenzied rage. Okay. That does take your turn, because you can't. You can only yeah, use Yeah, but now I'm raging. Action, but now you're now raging. I'm, now I'm raging. Yeah. So you're in a, yeah. you're in a frenzied rage. All right. all right. Can I do my wisdom saving throw? Uh, yes, you Wait. Can. Wait. What? What's happening? Huh? Did, did he not make his saving throw? Not yet. It's at the end of your turn. Oh, okay. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Calm down. Six! Damn it! No. I was, I was ready to roll it! And you screwed me! You screwed me for the last time, Panic Grim Tom! Right, Bet you never heard that be the last time I screw! Alright. Uh, I'm refreshing my roll 20. I'm... I'm so upset! You, no, you're really ought to at this point. You really ought to. Uh, Bork... Uh, you Borky's turn. <laughs> Freckles, it is now your turn. Okay. Uh, so I got all my stuff back. Cool. I'm going to bonus action dash to close the gap okay. and have all of that crazy movement left. Uh, okay. And I'm going to go back in for an actual speedy swipe now. <sighs> 21, 22, that 23. Hits. That hits. All right. Yeah. That is set. Oh, 12 radiant damage plus. Yeah. All right. Fantastic. Oh, those are better numbers. Plus another mm. 21. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. 30, 33 points of damage, radiant that's, damage. Oh, boy. That would be that's our burst bursty boy. Uh, the blue right. burst. You kind of bounce between two parts of the back of its legs and like go up to kind of like the made midsection and you kind of just slice across the back and you see the exposed wire and the magical chambers just kind of running through it. It's a very solid machine though. God, that's like so every weird. 
everything is really thick and everything is like really, really hardy. I don't see any organs. How does this work? Uh, uh, I will I will use um, the remainder of my movement to move uh, 40 feet back. Okay, get a fair distance back. Uh, panic, it is now your turn. Oh, God. Um... Give so, a shoulder rub or something, dude. I don't know, man. It, to, to clarify... To clarify... Um, how... How many people are within 10 feet of this room? I would say Abby and uh, Borky are directly in front of it. Task is probably about 60 feet away, uh, hanging back on the top of a building, whereas Greckles is 40 feet away, and you're within about 20 feet of it, I'm going to say. So if I aimed a shatter on the opposite side of it... You would not hit your allies, no. They're, all, they're both okay. on the same side. Because Abby came around to kill Borky, and he has to be within 5 feet of that. So I'm pissed. So I'm going to do that at 5th level. Jesus. Uh, shatter at fifth level. Uh, oh, I think it's going to be a failure. Yeah, that is an 11. That's a failure. That is a failure. Roll them bones. So it takes... I can't see it. There we go. Oh, my God. Uh... <laughs> oh, beans. 27 is... points of thunder damage. 27 points. One second. Let me just... Uh, yeah, you, you blow off part of its arm. The arm explodes and crashes to the ground as this explosion rings out. It is still standing, though. No, no, no. He's still uh, standing. I can't. Uh, I can't do anything to. Uh, I'll. I'll give. Um, who's Who's next in the turn order right now? Uh, that, would that would be Task. I will give Task some bardic inspiration. And I'll I'll just I'll just strum my guitar and say bram it down down and I'll say, hey, when you go back to, when I send you back to Oriara, I tell her to put you in the oven for a bit longer. Oh Jesus, that's Harsh. not nice. I, I actually imagine him I doing know. a fucking <laughs> string noise with his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! All right, task you got bardic inspiration, uh, which is now your turn. Assuming uh, panic doesn't want to move. I mean, I'm far enough away from it. <laughs> I'm good. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm going to shoot in this exposed bit. Okay, go ahead. <gasps> 23. That hits. All right. Wait, uh, Monty, did it need to make a constitution save? Constitution save? Wait, for its uh, for the smite? The for smite the slow it... effect. You got out of it, Hello? didn't you? I, yeah. No, there's, all of us, though. This... All of us. Yeah, Borky is in, the only one who rolled, and then what are you talking about? I'm really confused here. What you you said you said a couple of turns ago you need to maintain concentration on one of its effects. I'm assuming that's the slow, right? No, there is no concentration. It was I believe it was for um the smite that you're getting confused. Yeah. The smite was the smite oh, was I'm sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, you're right. Yeah, okay, no, my bad. there's no there's no concentration involved with this effect. It doesn't state as such, so uh, hold All on, right. my the website's going a little funky here. Uh, so six plus seven. Okay. All right, that followed up by a second shot. Like, let me math real fast. Okay. Rolling really right. fucking slow. I, I clicked on it. I'm sorry. No worries. 21. That hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Cool. Eight. Hold on. Hold on. Deep. Wow, it's going really chunky. That's all right. You don't have to worry about it. Because yeah, how, how, how do you want to down this thing? You needed exactly eight. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> oh, nice. Well, with max damage of six. Uh, okay, so Tass shoots the one arrow that knocks its head, so its arm like is directly in line of sight. The exposed arm. He uh, takes the second shot. It flies through the inside, comes out the other arm, and fucking knocks it off. All right, yeah, you knock off the other arm. The whole thing buckles. I'm going to say, for flavor's sake, uh, Abby and Borky. Borky with disadvantage. Make dexterity uh, saving throws for me. But I have my danger Ooh. sense. You do, but you're slow. Uh, it's for so flavor. So dexterity saving throw? It's, it's okay. for flavor. So Twelve! Okay. okay. That's three. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, did I trip on you? <laughs> oh, you hear it, oh, yes. <laughs> oh. So, uh, the golem explodes. Uh, and... Boom. Like, 
Uh, Abby, you, like, collide into a wall. You take no damage. And you just oh. kind of, like, bang, boom, onto the ground. And then <laughs> in slow motion, Borky hits the wall and then slowly falls face down onto the floor. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's, it's really slow. Oh. By the time Borky hits the floor, Task already got up to him and is just watching him, like, right five feet next to him. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a super thing. She's dying, thing. by the way, guys. Oh. Just this happens when life flashes before your eyes, right? <laughs> uh, as you kind of rise up from the ground at this point, the slow effect ends as the creature has been defeated. Oh, oh boy! I snap my I snap my finger in front of him. Borky, is it still in effect? No, you everything's back to normal. Ah! Oh my God! What happened? If they cast a spell, it made everyone super quick like it. It was the craziest thing. It really was. Yeah, you were there. And you were there. <laughs> and you were there. And even you. Uh... Hey, old, old Rusty's right there. And even you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It was oh, oh, God. It freaking hit me so freaking hard. I'm going to assume I look over at Abby. i you going to assume that's a reject. Yeah, his his eyes actually are still red, and he like st they start turning orange. Danger eliminated, and then he just like looks up and is like, "Yep, that was a reject." Ugh. What what caused it to behave like that? I cannot answer that. You can't or won't. He like thinks for a moment. I can't. Uh, survival check. Can I do check? a religion this, check? This I'm requires gonna... a tinkerer's tools check, actually. Beads! <laughs> They're not a living creature. They are. They are. <laughs> All right, whatever. Fortunately, yeah. It's you, not... could, you could investigate it if you want to just look at it. I would um, like to. I would yes. love. If this okay. thing is spouting any black ooze, oh, we got problems. <laughs> 17. Hey, 18. 18. Uh, as you guys kind of peel back part of the metal, uh, a bunch of teeth come pouring out. Oh, this again! Oh, yeah. oh fuck! Here we go. Oh, there's a pro there's a problem. This watch is full of wheels. <laughs> uh, like gophers, like gophers and meerkats out of like tunnels. You watch as the cobalts begin to kind of like poke their heads out. Oh god! I think it, like it was a reject. I hate to see one that actually works. How hard that hits! Oh my bones, they hurt. Oh. Or he's just stretching out his back. I'm you going like to it. assume you don't get built with teeth inside of you. Mm, not usually. What do you mean, you not it. usually? It's either you yes watch. or no. You watch as Gadget kind of like comes running out and slides down a side of the rubble and kind of runs over. And at this point, a lot more kobolds are gathering as well again. Oh, nice of you to join us. Hey. Hey! <laughs> hey! Borky way. We solved your problem. <laughs> you watch as she, without even saying another word, just takes out tools and starts like dismantling parts of it. And you watch as two other kobolds come over and start to help. Uh, one of them, uh, Copper actually, uh, is standing next to you guys and goes, that's the worst one we've had. It keeps getting worse and worse as the day goes by. How yeah, common is this becoming? Like almost every week now. When it's, every smaller, week. when it's the smaller constructs, it's fine. We can manage it. But this... Can I sort of, like, reach into its guts and, like, pull out a bunch of teeth and black sludge? It's, like, blood. It's, like, coagulated, like, okay. blood. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's it's almost black sludge. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll just reach in and pull it out and be like, you know what this is? No, we have not a clue. We've never seen it in any of the blueprints. It hasn't shown up in our histories. Do you know what ganache is? They all kind of look at each other. Uh, Copper kind of looks and goes, that's... The god those orcs at the base of the mountain worship and then there's yeah, kind of yeah. ori are as great as just anime oh oh, cutting oh. Out. Cutting out. one more time the spell, the spell is still going are, on uh, ori ori are as greatest enemy uh there's more murmuring I guess that makes sense i suppose but there's no way of how but it's Oriara's guidance like they kind of just begin to kind of bicker but but I'll, you also allow have me, allow me to enlighten you Every single construct that we've met up until this point that has been hostile to us has had this stuff in it. And you do have worshippers of Ganache at the very foot of your mountain. 
Do they run on blood and teeth? What? No, that's preposterous. You watch as, uh... You you denied that way too quick. Hey, what? Where would we even get blood and teeth from, huh? We don't have animals here. You're animals. Everyone gasps. (laughs) What? The the cloud giant? Oh, now. Tass, like, holds his hand up. The cloud giants? They trade us meat and and leathers, but we don't get blood and teeth. That's just messed up. I'll I'll, I'll lean into Borky. Lodfog, does he like friendship commitments or something? (laughs) Borky! I don't know what to say. You skip. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You guys cut out on my end. Could you repeat that? Ask Bronfalt if he worships Ganache or if he knows of any other cloud giants that do. Okay. Sorry. But in a whisper. <laughs> whisper, whisper, whisper. You're doing whisper. that. Hey, hey, Marge. <laughs> Marge. Oh. You should try to. Borky, he still has Rumpelt in his hand, closes his eyes, squeezes the pommel, and goes to talk to Rumpelt real quick. All right. You don't enter his realm, but you hear his voice. Rumpelt. Yes. It's going to sound really dumb. I have one dumb question and one really smart question. Which would you prefer? The smart question. The cloud giants, do they... Have they ever worshipped Nash? Borky, I did not know the cloud giants exist. Of The cloud giants' existence until now. If they do are you... my descendants, I don't know that much about them. So I don't know. They're as much a mystery to me as they are to you. Okay. Ron Fault says, what's a cloud giant? Oh, that doesn't <laughs> help. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Your second question. So, well, uh, you're a sky giant. Mm-hmm. So maybe they, the name's changed. That is what I hope for, at least. Well, we'll get to the bottom of that as soon as we can. Thank you. Mm-hmm. You know, now that I think about it, those... The Blood Axes have a humongous shrine to Ganesh. Do you think it's possibly corrupting its way up the mountain? It could be. I don't know. God shit is fucking so stupid and esoteric. I can't even fucking begin with you. So, according to the stories, right, Liverosia and... Another god, I I can't remember what it, at this point Gromith. made yeah, Gromith. or Gromith made Oriara as sort of like a combination of both of them, and Gunash doesn't like that because it is the aspect of destruction, whereas Oriara is creation. It's just ugh. Gods are so fucking weird, dude. Falls over, like, just, like, fucking, just, like, sits on the floor. We we don't know if this happens where we come from, but it definitely happens here. Why is that? Log, is Log here? Hi! Hi. Log, are you naked? Log. No, he's got clothes on. Oh, thank God. He's got Log. like a bunch of books. He's like got like handfuls of books, like a kid at like the library who just really wants to read every single Garfield that exists. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> I was that kid. I was that kid. <laughs> we were. Yeah, Log, I have. Some, <laughs> I have some questions. I have some questions for you. If um, you'd be willing to answer them, they're about Oriara. Yay! Okay. So. Uh, Oriara really doesn't like this this dude called Ganache, right? Nope. What's <laughs> up with that? They fight, like, all the time. Really? Does Ganache ever, like, try to hijack any of Oriara's creations no, with, like, like, a bunch of teeth and goo? I not even assume that. Huh? 
She's the best ever. How could you even assume that? You're the worst. He kind of shoves you like a tall <laughs> Whoa. Oh, wow. Hang on. Wow. I'm, just, yeah. I'm just asking a question so I can expand my knowledge of Oriara. You know, Log? Oh, Log. I'm sorry. He just kind of like pulls your legs back as if to undo the shove. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, yeah, Oriara and Ganesh fought, and then she fell on a mountain. Wait. He just turns behind himself and looks at the mountain, and then looks. Yeah, at the log. log. This mountain. Tass slow claps. Whoa! It's a nice back. mountain. <laughs> back on topic, log. Oh, he turns back towards you. Yep, they fought, so and then they both fell, and then Oriara lost her sword, kind of, and then she dragged Gnash into her realm, and she won. That doesn't sound like a win. That just sounds like a trap with your hatest and your most hated enemy in a small confined space. Are they hanging I out? Have, I have three questions. <laughs> I have three questions, Log. Okay. What happened to her sword when she dropped it? Oh, it's in like a place. Hmm. Borky rubbing his chin okay. makes sense. Cash is screams holding his face. <laughs> Does anybody know about this place? Yeah, I do. I went there. You... <laughs> did you, did you see the sword? Yep. It's called the Time Cleaver. It's in Mountain Village. Huh? Where, where is it? <laughs> it's in Mountain Village. It's sealed up, it's... though. You cut out, Connor. No, I... I Panic is just stunned. He stopped mid-sentence. <laughs> That's surely, really neat, Log. Thanks for telling us. Sure, surely we would have been told about something like this, correct? He's just... Yeah, just Artifact of a god just just falling in Balton fucking village where no nobody yeah. goes. What they, they built a temple around it. Around it. How long ago was this? I don't know. Okay. Next question. Okay. So. <laughs> so, uh, Oriara dragged. Ganesh into her realm? That's what the books say. Mm, the, it, and the pictures on the walls and, you know, coming up the mountain. Didn't you see them? Did see a few things that might have been those. Uh, I don't know for sure, but I, I certainly think so, Log. You're doing a great job so far. Thank you very much. Um, he puts up both of his hands into the air and looks towards you, Avi. Just like, look at me, I'm doing it. I'm a big boy. <laughs> like, he's just so happy and pleased. <laughs> like, he's... <laughs> like, he's clapping his hands. <laughs> Third question. Okay. Do you feel we Weird at some times, or do you feel like you know the significance of like teeth and this red goo? Do you feel like that might be inside of you? He rests a hand on your like leg and he goes, Only people like you got red goo inside of you. <laughs> of a bitch. You know what? That's that's fair enough. That's he taps, fair. Your, he taps your knee just like there, there. Okay. But but you know, and he points to the he points to the reject on the ground. Yeah. Huh? This one time, Ty had this stuff called jam, and I was trying to reenact this one fight scene between one of the great <laughs> ancient worshippers of Oriara in this battle against uh -huh. evil. And this one part oh, yeah. he stabbed and he's like, blah, bleeding, and I just uh -huh. asked, does that count? No. Okay. This is this is blood and teeth, like like, eh, and he, he lifts up his lip, like eh, I teeth, teeth. Yeah. Like, and he points to it. He points to his hand. Teeth, blood. 
No, it, I have blood. The best way to explain it to you, Long, is like, it's like when you're building like a sandwich, and then one of the ingredients is you just go up to someone and just rip out all their teeth, and just get all that blood and just put it on the sandwich. It's a bit what weird. I'm, what I'm trying to say is, Long, have you ever seen stuff like this? And he grabs this big, like, coagulated ball of blood and teeth. Have you seen this come out of something that looks like you? Aside from this. Well, there were some in that cave. What cave? He points back to where the, the, the cave of rejects would be, essentially. Right. Okay. Should we go in there? We were just in there, and no. I think we've... Had some pretty good answers to those questions, actually. Thank you, Log. So, as far as we know, only the constructs up are affected by this weird ganache ball inside of them. Greckles is looking for Ratchet at this point. Ratchet? Uh-huh. Or, um, gadget. Weird, man. Gadget. I keep doing that. <laughs> gadget, excuse me. G gadget is currently analyzing and taking notes, and all the kobolds seem very nervous. Uh, none of these individuals seem like they're capable of, of significant combat. The, the more muscular kobolds definitely seem like they could, they could probably hold their own. Uh, but a lot of them are nerds, and... <laughs> artists and you know hermits they aren't you know combat experts they, they seem a lot of them seem very very nervous it's been a very wild day for them yeah uh well, greckles greckles is gonna go over and just kind of like punch down by her side look we don't know much about oriar or the realm or talking to her or anything like that but is it possible that ganache is corrupting her from the inside if he's if it's still alive and just imprisoned in oriar's realm Is he whispering that? I mean, it's 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 so that the other kobolds don't hear and like either crucify him or panic or whatever. But he's he's being a little he's being hushed for to, so that the crowd of kobolds don't hear. Okay. Money there. I mean, you're saying okay. I'm saying it to yeah. I'm here. I'm listening. I think okay. you're saying that to panic. I, I no, no. I was no. I was. No, he's saying it to. Oh, you're saying it to log. No, no. I'm saying it no. to gadget. Oh, gadget. Oh, yeah. So, sorry, I'm not. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I thought you were talking to to. <laughs> no, no. He he specifically leans down as she's analyzing to just bring up this possibility or questioning Look. if it possibly work. Look, <laughs> I don't know. I don't look. I don't know much about gods of destruction, but I do know about the god of creation. All right. All right. Log I mean, and oh. we don't have evidence to prove the hypothesis, so it's a mystery. I mean, what? What, would you would you call that evidence? Pointing over to the teeth and blood and crap. We don't see the source of cause. You, when you you know something isn't working, you can see where the wires aren't connected. You know where the power doesn't work. No, but this know. is an anomaly, and apparently it's been consistent, so it is a variable. It is. I. But... I have seen something like this before. No? Oh? We've been there. Uh... From Discord. It's not like that, though. The realm of Discord is way it different. Is, from is it not, though? A champion of Livrosia was corrupted by Osterix, and it hasn't been the same since, and it spawned these things. It's a common theme that we're getting here. A lot of polar opposites merging together into one coagulated mess. Okay, above game, do we ever ask about that the cat thing that killed like killed Panic in one hit? I the hunter? You guys have, no. No. Okay, because Borky's gonna do that. Uh okay. um uh Gadget. Yeah. Is it Well we was coming up here, we uh we came through a a pool of blood and teeth. Up to my chest in blood. We got to this. Felt like a beach of just teeth. And then we entered a. 
a pathway with paused with, with with like traps that we had to go through a million times. The reject cave, yes, I'm aware of it. And there was a reject that was still activated down there. And it was a cat with a, like a cat, which would just appear and disappear. It had like a spear in its mouth, would shoot out. You watch and... as uh, Gadget pulls out like a little notebook and begins to flip through it as you describe it. Yep, it killed me. It caught him. And it would hunt us while we was, was doing this the whole time. That sounds somewhat like a steel predator. Which... Steel pr predator. Mm -hmm. But the oh, rod in the mouth awesome. is... Some... Yeah, they're they're stealthy killers. They're what Oriari uses to take down enemies if she needs to. Panic, panic! Like pulls out a notebook and starts writing it down. Steel predator band name. But the thing <laughs> is, when we killed it, it had the same blood and the same teeth that were there when we came up through that cave. Well, this uh, this here she kind of raises a hand. That cave is not only our dumping ground, but it's also hers. This is a divine comedy, if you think about it. <laughs> Tass stands up. The whole up, fucking like, like, world is a divine comedy. No, no. Like, I don't know if this seems relevant, but it's a reject cave, and Oriara is a god of creation. She's creating rejects and ignoring her creation, throwing them away. Guys. The god of destruction comes oh. up. And takes the rejects and makes it his children. Well, now here, here's the thing that you gotta remember, though, guys. We tried to dispel that with Ronfold's ability, and it got sent right back after the sorry, the banishment. Sorry, misremembered. It was panic banishment, and it got sent no. back to its realm, and it came right back. I, I didn't banish shit. It was it was you who banished it, and then it came. Out of a realm full of, and he look, he's looking around at the kobolds and he's speaking out loud. A realm full of cogs. They all begin to chatter amongst themselves, and some kind of are just like that. Sounds like Oriar's realm. I mean, then the stories. That's what it sounds. Like. No, Batesk. Batesk has a point. If it if if the realm rejected it, could it be possible that they really are abandoned and Ganache is picking them up? More murmuring. They all just kind of are theorizing well, and, and bickering well, does, and arguing. And does Ganache not have his own realm? They all just look at each other. They don't have a fucking clue. Ah, uh, we. I, are, think the, uh, I think the problem is the realms are bleeding together. Because I tried to send that beast back to where it came from, and the second it showed up, they wanted nothing to do with it, and it was, and it had the blood and teeth inside it. Abby. Mm, yes. Does this, any of this sound familiar to you? You seem to be the closest with Oriara out of all of us. I Sorry, mean, Bob. I don't, maybe, yeah, it's fine. Oh, wow, <laughs> wow, Log, playing your hand, Log. Well, it seems like Log speaks to Oriara, Oriara more than I do, because she doesn't speak to me all that often unless it's orders. Task turns to Log immediately. Log, I need your help with something. Okay. I have to get up that mountain and meet someone called Bro... Uh, what is it? Uh, was it Brobold or something? I'm sorry. Robald. 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 I have to go up that mountain and meet someone called Robald, but apparently I can't do it unless that pendulum stops or a chosen one of creation is going up the mountainside and stops the pendulum. How do we, how do we get up there? Hmm. Ariara? Yes, he but I need to... He watches, he looks up towards the sky. Oh. I I mean... Bobby. You hear a voice. Yes. Oh. Gather all your brothers and sisters. Make way to the pendulum. Hold it at bay. This is my command. And you watch as every other construct in the nearby area is like looking up like you usually do, and they all begin to move. Oh, oh. Skynet does, had spoken. So, why the why the fuck does every question I ask have dire consequences? You watch as all the kobolds are like, "Hey, where are you going?" And you watch as like every single construct, and there's about a few hundred of them, um, begin to move and make their way uh, up one of the pathways of the mountain. Um, and you guys, Abby does, Abby does the same. He just he doesn't respond. He just goes. 
Okay, all we can walk guys, and talk at the same time. Please tell me what all, just happened. All of you guys just cheered Oriara, and then now all the constructs are just moving, and people are kind of Wait, freaking out a little bit. All, all of us heard Oriara? No, none of you did. But you just heard okay. log, look up and go Oriara, question mark, and now all the constructs are moving in unison in one direction. You said you said all of you guys, and I just assumed. Yeah, yeah. We no heard words. log say Oriara, then look up, and now we're trying to put two and two together. Yeah, they are all moving, uh, and the kobolds are, like, looking very perplexed and confused. So, save, uh, your, save your theories. We gotta move. Not after I cast Cure Fucking Wounds on myself. Cure that on yourself. Look at me. My neck's been sideways this whole time. We just look up at his head as a 90 degree angle. He's talking to his I'll, ass this entire I'll, time. I'll get, get some chiropractic on, on fucking Borky. Just oh, it's good. Work the notch. What, 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 uh -huh. what time of day is it, Monty? It is night. Oh. No. Yeah, it is nighttime. All right. I think we should sort this out now. And then we can sleep when it's done. Yeah, now is good. Now is good. Okay. Wait, should we okay. not follow them? We no, are. That's what we're doing. Okay. Yes. Can we take a break before we do? Yes, you can. I gotta take a break. Oh, yeah, thank you. I'll be right back. Break. I gotta pee so bad. <laughs> nice. Break time. That, nice. That actually got me back up to full. Okay, be right back. Have fun, Shempai? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I feel a little bit more confident than last time. Yeah, first time's always rough. It's just like, yeah. who am I? What am I doing? Uh, I, I'm like constantly sitting here like, ooh, when can I say something? Because I don't want to interrupt anyone. <laughs> oh, you can interrupt. Just interrupt. I don't like, seriously. No! No! I don't do that! <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> my leg, I just hit my leg out. Oh, no. Right against the desk. This is fun. I'm having a lot of fun. Hmm? I'm having a lot of fun. Sorry for not having a map for that fight, but I just literally, I was like trying oh, to make it's... it work, and I'm just like, no, nothing is going to work, because this is such it's a weird fun. location. Listen, I, it's just it's just as fascinating to me, because like I'm still so new to this world, so <laughs> it's like, I'm sitting here like, gaw like gawking like a child, like, wow! And like, pointing <laughs> fingers like, wow, look at that! Whoa, what is that? Whoa! <laughs> Like, oh man, it's, oh man, I, I, it's gonna get better. That's all I can say. Ooh. It's gonna get better. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm also gonna quickly be right back because yeah, yeah, I, need, yeah. I need to use the bathroom as well. <laughs> go use, go grab a snack, go use the bathroom and then come right back. And then I'll just, I'm, I'm gonna spend time with you, chat until everybody gets back. So, uh, how, how you doing, chat? I see you. I see you with my eyeballs. I see you with your bits, but I, I can't call them out because I don't have the actual list, so I'm going to wait for Kurt to get back to do that. But, yeah. I had a lot of fun tinkering with golems. Specifically, just taking them and making them what I want. Oh heck, it's Joe Cat. Oh heck, there's Joe Cat, Mr. Joseph Catterson. Hello, Joe Cat. Hello. One of our other guest stars that we had. I'm dying. I need sleep. You can go sleep. Monty, am I a pony? No. I am human. We're a robot. What are the two? I want to be a robot. Real bad. <laughs> Hello. How I'm long back. are we going tonight? We usually go about like three or four hours. You guys want to say hello to my little girl? <laughs> oh, this is Mari? <sighs> yeah. That's okay. Hi. Aww. How old is I'm she? Back. She oh, yeah. is uh, oh, three years old now. Okay. I love her. Hi, Mari. 
<laughs> I told she you I had birds, eh? Oh, that bird. She's sitting on my microphone right now. Oh. She like noticed I was away because I I like I had my door closed and I usually have the blinds down for when oh, I yeah. focus on and then I didn't realize that it was already daytime. <laughs> I, I, had a, like, I had a I had a I had to find it. I found a meme and I was gonna send it to you. Mm -hmm. uh, here we go. I found it. it was, I felt this too because my birds were the exact same way. I just sent it to you. Here you go. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, like she instantly, like she, she, like I opened the door and she instantly, like because uh, the hallway is really long and she's in the living room and like the moment the door opened, she like zoomed by. And I was like, oh. well, I'm back to, but what, I'm back. Did he share his backstory or something? Huh? Or what? We're no, talking okay, about my bird. <laughs> oh, we're okay. About, we're talking about Mari. Yeah. Someone just said in chat, "Will this bird also share its us its backstory?" So I assumed yeah. everyone was giving Kumba crap, and I shouldn't have assumed that. I mean, you know, if someone would ever ask ever again, besides a PC that we may never see again. Oh, motherfucker! <laughs> I swear, God. All right, I'm gonna grab I, something to eat real fast myself, and then I'll be back. The here. ultimate, the ultimate flex would be to bring up your backstory right in the middle of task finale. That's the... Uh, wow. Kurt, Kurt, I so badly want to run upstairs and grab nacho chips. I really want nacho chips. The Dean, what if I told you mom made more of that salsa? Oh, no. Did you just go upstairs and grab some of that? No, tell you what. We're, we gotta hey, start. Stop. I gotta, stop, no. stop, stop. I'll go grab it. No, no, you gotta read up bits. Read up bits. I'll be fine. I'll grab something to eat and I'll grab something later. Read I can't bits. overstate Kurt. how good that... that we, we've been making our own salsa. Okay, so Time to get my own and Jerry's. Hell yeah. I will read out bits here. Uh, Joe Cat dropping 50 bits, 50 subs. God Jeez, it, everybody. Bro. Joe Cat swung by about an hour and a half ago. I don't know if he's still there, but he dropped 50 subs. Hang on. God hang on. damn. A big shout out to our wonderful, the best bard we ever knew, Joe Cat. Oh, he's not. Uh, <laughs> UK, dude? No, no, no. Sorry, I was I was adjusting and I was looking for Joe and he's not in the chat and that that was the, oh, okay. he's not. the sorry, best part. He's not. I'm like, damn. I mean, like, I was just making a joke, but okay. No, I'm <laughs> sad. I'm, I'm sad. There because, we go. <laughs> I'm sad because I've got a bunch of Skyrim mods that are huh? for bards. Wait, Joe okay. Cat is here. Joe Cat, I got bard uh, mods to give you. Well, right I, got, I, got, I got I got I do have to read up. Oh, okay. I go, 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 go. see uh, how it is. Shadow Dragon Twenty One, Faye Raven, Javon Four Five Six, Paladin Bubbles, Jewel Fish, Your Uncle Vernon, Skynet, Lexi Luna One, Houndoom Mega Master. Thank you so much all for the subs as well. Alexander the Great, thank you for the bits. Rad calls, I think for the bits. Blackfoot Ferret with elite bits, one thousand three hundred thirty-seven bits. It break now. Is it okay to spam emotes here? Limes uwu, limes uwu. Blackfoot Ferret, you're always allowed to spam subs because of your constant kindness. Dragon God twenty with a five hundred bits. Honestly, it's a surprise. Sempi did not make a construct voxer. Matt, listen. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh man, Sempi. Sempi. That's like that, 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 that's that's I, what Scott Steiner calls his uh his math his trainer. I, oh, I, yeah, could, I already said before that I wasn't going to make any semblance of Voxer because I just can't do him justice. Also, in this sort of campaign, it just would be a waste. Mm. Uh Verdi went with a fifteen hundred bits. Kobolds, robots, and gods. Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Uh Iro Kaiser the Metal. Had work, shall return. Have bit. Thank you so much for the 500 bits, man. Bible type one with a thousand bits. Task fires at Gollum. The Gollum. You seem bold at fire. You seem bold at fireball distance. Beep. Oh. Uh, That's all it said that was beep. Beep. Uh, beep. At will fireball, though. Tell uh, 13, thank you for the bits. Side TV. Title suggestion nuts and dolts. Hey! Hey. That's good. That's good, actually. No, no, it sucks. It's bad and terrible forever. <laughs> Damn it, Psych TV. That's a really good name. <laughs> Celeste Wolf 84, thank you so much for the bits. Dread Hunter, thank you for the bits. Celeste Wolf, thank you for the bits. And Sloth with 1,500 bits. No message. Just bits. Senpai, are you having fun yet? Huh? <laughs> hey! I mean I mean, bad Jerry's. I just imagined you putting like a giant like ear horn. <laughs> yeah, I'm having a lot of fun. Good. This is like my like my um, my as said my second the real D and D experience. So I'm still like 
Uh, I said it to Monty before. I was like, I'm still gawking at everything because it's all so cool. <laughs> it's and like you guys are really in your you guys, head. You guys are really fun to listen to while I'm sitting here like a baby. <laughs> no, you're fine. <laughs> oh, it's anti pretzel. Think of the 300. And why would you be against pretzels? But think of the 300 bits nonetheless. Uh, Dread Hunter 335. Thank you for the sub. Sloth another 500 bits. No message. Just 500 sloth bits. Well, thank you so much. And Burnout Vagen with 300 bits. Episode title: Percussive Maintenance. Mm. I still like. I still like nuts and dolts. No, I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I'm Obby. Mm -hmm. no, that's a joke. But, but right. I'm Obby. No. Defective sheet with the 500 bits. Speaking of backstories, Monty, do you allow that special Mercer rule that allows extra proficiencies due to their backstories? I do not. Oh! No. Ah, Blue Chaos! Blue Whoa. Chaos! Four, oh. four, five with the ta 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 Ten thousand bits from Blue Kyos four four five five five. That's crazy, guys. Let's snap for Blue Kyos. <laughs>, Laughs as I can't snap my finger. Ah, uh -uh, I'm not the last laugh now. I have to now. do this. <laughs> we need a backup plan. Break your bones. <laughs> ah, <laughs> Sna snap snapping is like very small finger clapping because it's actually your, your finger. No, it's your middle finger slapping against your palm. That's what Man. makes the noise. I'm slapping my index finger as we speak. Am I doing it right? Here's what, you, here's what we here's what you do instead, Zito. You pull up your shirt and just start smacking yourself like you're a Hanna Barbera character running away. You gotta slap your thighs or your titties, depending on what you're more comfortable Whoa. with. <laughs> but wait, what if you have even sized titties or boobs? Or, excuse uh, me, thighs or boobs. Well, I mean, then you just have the best of both worlds. You can, like, do a double Whoa, a double what? take. Like a... <laughs> the, 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 the light board with an additional 10,000 bits! <laughs> Boom! The light ward dropping 10,000 bits. Take these bits because I love you all and these wacky robots! Uh -huh. Guys, get them fingies out because it's time to snap for the light ward. Oh, no! What? Start, start thigh slapping. <laughs> oh, Zeta, you're crazy over there. Uh, the Light Ward, thank you so much for the additional 10,000 bits. My God. Uh, Volus with additional 1,500 bits. No message, just beep. 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 Also, Zeta, that's perfect. <laughs> oh, the post I, I we, gave you guys. Yes. Bits. We are our Skitari. Oh. Mm, beep. <laughs> <laughs> I freaking oh man, that episode has so many good quotes. They all have like oil martinis as well. Always what made me laugh. I'm like, yeah, of course they would. <laughs> fucking Mechanicum. Metal oil margaritas. Cheese. Oh, margaritas. I'm sorry. It's been a while for me. Uh, Rippington, thank you for the bits as well. Origins Fury, thank you as well. Be Blue Kyos 445 and the Light Ward, thank you again for the 10,000 bits each. That is incredibly kind of you. It, that is that's very kind. So from the, from all of us here in the Unexpectables, we say thank you very, very freaking much. I've seen I'm here with Toast. Excellent. I have not been this relaxed in a while. See if Foam Kazoo has. Quick knitting, give them anxiety. Uh, um, uh, Unbuttered Toast. Play the Mario game really fast. Sweet, your man again. A Don't mind me. I'm just going to make a death. I'm just going to make a death saving throw real quick. Mm. <laughs> oh, not one. Excellent. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what really? Zito. Wow. Zito. Zito. Zito, what? that wasn't funny. That was terrifying, man. <laughs> wait, 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 what? Yeah, it got rolled on that one. one. He rolled on that one. one. <laughs> you just killed Panic Grim Tongue. Holy shit. You Zito. just killed. You might as well have just shoved the arrow in his heart yourself and twisted it, you fucking monster. Zito, you're a necromancer. He <laughs> turns around and shoves fucking Frostbane into my gullet. <laughs> Fuck, here. Oh, Man, I, I just said that out loud. I wasn't even looking at the fucking screen. I was eating a cracker, and I'm just like, Zeno, what'd you do? Like, speaking, ah! of 
Speaking anyway. of crackers, that's what happened to his spine after you fucking oh. killed him. <laughs> oh, my spine crackers. <laughs> <laughs> We're just vamping until Nadine finishes her goddamn toast, by the way. By the way, Nadine, while you were gone, the Light Ward and Blue Chaos 445 dropped 10,000 bits apiece. Oh, I made peanut butter. It was a mistake. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Oh God! Oh, and Blue Chaos with another ten thousand bits! Uh, no! Uh, now, now, Zito, 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 Zito. Power word me. To to make up for what you've done, we just got ten thousand blitz from Blue Chaos. Yes. You must say rip panic, and you must snap him back to victory. All right, rip panic. Uh. <laughs> it didn't work. You got to try really, really hard. Blue Kyos is, is trying to do this, dude. You gotta help him. All right. Okay, now roll roll a roll a um, dexterity check and then see if you can dodge uh, the, that the peanut butters in the middle of your. <laughs> uh, real fast before we finish up here, uh, X Grail, thank you so much for the two month resub. Punk here, I think gifting a sub to he dead yo and Black Fair, thank you for the for the blaze it bits. Now I'm hungry for spine crackers. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Philip Chandler, thank you for the two month resub. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. See, I, I rushed back here, and all you guys were like, I'm going to put peanut butter on everything. I'm going to get ice cream. <laughs> That's really had, fucking good. Stop nothing. it. I had nothing. I, 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 just, I just had a... a, a I made a sandwich. sandwich. All right. I'm here. You guys ready? Yes. yes. Goodbye, everyone. Yeah. For the next 15 minutes. Right. Yeah. <laughs> here we go. All right. We might go over time a little bit. Just keep ah. break. All right. So, as the constructs move in a very... Not a mechanical line, they move like people, but there is, clearly, they all have the same location. Almost like a bunch of Roombas on the same path. Um, they make their way through all the different uh, workshops, uh, eventually leading up to a set of stairs on the cusp of the overhang of the mountain. It is a very narrow hallway-like space that they just kind of ascend up. <clears throat> we'll, we'll follow after him. Okay. Notably, the biggest construct is at the front. Uh, they stand at about seven feet tall, uh, and they are kind of like big guy, except for way more refined, better made, more solid uh, huh. as they make their way up. Kurt, you're breathing into the microphone again. I'm not anywhere near my microphone, Nadine. Yeah, you're picking up, though. I don't know what's up. So... Uh, you make your way up this sort of narrow space. Borky, for you, it's it's pretty tight. Um, your shoulder is almost hitting either side. Uh, there are Good there are sideways. There are windows carved that actually look out to pass the mountain on the outside. Um, if you were to like just throw yourself out of it, you would fall down the mountain essentially as you guys curl up, almost with the curvature of the mountain itself. Uh, eventually you begin to hear a very loud, almost like rumbling noise. It kind of shakes it, the earth. Is it one or is it like building? It's like a constant noise. Oh, what is that, guys? Probably the pendulum. Oof. Isn't that supposed to only go off every a a hour or so? Right, but it's still moving. There's still friction. Yeah, but this is, it's, it comes and goes. This is constant. Eventually, it's... some of the constructs begin to disappear up ahead of you, uh, dropping down what it looks like. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, okay. You hear a... And it just keeps going over and over and over again. Look over Until the it, side. Oh. Uh, there's a ladder. It leads down. It's maybe like uh, probably 20 feet up off the ground. And as you look down at the ladder and you look up, you see a massive, massive inner chamber on the probably the tallest part of the mountain on the interior. It's been hollowed out. And you see it, it ascends so high you can't even see the top of it. You see a massive pendulum. Um, probably easily the length of Alabast. Good lord. And Whoa. It just slowly moves. Like, just, it's very hard to notice, but you can hear it moving. 
Gosh, big. Uh, just so I'm sure I'm visualizing this right. So we are inside of the mountain you at the moment. Inside of the mountain, yep. The, and we the see the workshop. Hall out here. Yep. The workshop is outside, kind of in the curvature of the mountain, like kind of in, in like kind of set inside of it. The actual physical inside of the mountain you are currently in, whereas where this pendulum is homed. It looks like it's the only thing that's within here, which isn't, you know, directly below the workshop area. This is probably, I would say, to the uh, western part of the curvature of the mountain, which is the tallest, thinnest part. Uh, and this is the inside of that. Uh, the pendulum itself is flat. Um, it seems very thick, but it is flat. Um, it is a solid piece that runs all the way up. And the level of detail and ornateness to this to this piece is mind-boggling. It is, it is inhumanly made. Um, and if it was humanly made, probably would have taken thousands of years to make. Each Ooh, piece tech magic. is very intricate. Okay, yeah, go ahead. I'm just, I'm, I'm not waiting. I'm just spending a spell slot. Okay. Divine. It is oozing divine magic. It is uh, divination. It is just straight up divine magic. There's a ladder that goes up, yes? Uh, it's going down. You watch now as you see the constructs that are descending the ladder are making their way towards uh, a gap in the floor, which is where the pendulum swings... Uh, and it cur kind of carves through the earth. Oh. It's a natural groove that it either was man-made or mystically made that allows the pendulum to swing its full length, essentially, and through the ground. Wait, so it's 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 divine and divination? Yeah. Or, okay. Divination. So should we go down this ladder then? Yeah. I think that's our only option at this point. Uh, all right, then down the ladder we go. Oh my <laughs> god, look at it. You see the size of this thing, guys? Oh my god. I'm seeing the force of this thing, and he's like squinting his eyes, just trying to not be blinded by the sheer magic. It is, yeah, it is like, ah, <laughs> like, um, it's also... <laughs> It's also like the sound is like shaking you. Like it almost brings you back to the Discord realm with how that you felt the sound. This is the same thing. It's just so massive that it's impossible not to physically be affected. Even you, Abby, it's for you. Like you feel the your inner components shaking. Yeah. As you make your way down the ladder, uh, which I'm assuming all of you guys do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the open chamber itself is very clean. Uh, it is flat. It's completely flat. Uh, the ground, there's no rocky texture. It is smooth. It is polished, and it appears to be not really approached. Uh, you don't see any evidence of anybody living here, coming to maintenance this. It seems very sacred, if there is a word for it. It seems like a very sacred place. Okay. Uh, so, uh... When we get into this location, uh, is there a pathway that leads anywhere, or is it just the room itself? It's just an open room with a giant pendulum in the middle, cutting through it. It might be a good idea just to get down and then wait, see what the rest of the contracts do. Yeah, we're following their lead at this point. Okay. Uh, you watch as the constructs set themselves up around the gaps, uh, jumping over onto the other side, and each of them almost getting ready, as the pendulum at this point is around the midway point. You watch as it comes, you hear that... that low tone, and it shakes your ears, it shakes the entire chamber, and as it reaches the middle point, you watch as each and every construct grabs a part of the pendulum and holds it. Oh, they're, boy. Oh. Yeah, they're stopping it. They're centering their feet into the ground and holding it and straining and all turning to look at all of you. Okay, where, where do we go? Where do we do now? What? <laughs> is there any sort of... Well, because we know that, that the pendulum is, is climbed in order to get up. Is there any sort of 
grooves, divots, slatters, oh, anything. Yeah. It it's as intricate as I described. There's oh, so that's many fair. Facets that's fair. And There's pieces yeah. to it. Yeah, it's it's very intricate. All right, All right then. No, not wasting time. I'm getting up that thing. Now let's, let's go. Right. You uh, guys, guys scramble up. Wait, really, guys? We're cl- oh my god. Oh, okay. We're not sure what you expect me to do, but. Log also jumps on and gestures for you, Abby, to join. Get just... on me shoulders, then. Fine. All aboard the Porky Express. He's a bit worried, but uh, he looks at all the other constructs and then, like, just lets go and joins. Project looks at you and gives you a nod and says, Give our regards. I will do. All right. Everybody athletics checks. Oh, oh God. <laughs> oh. I still oh. have bard inspiration. I'm gonna give some inspiration. 16. Oh wait, no, I can't. <laughs> let me let me roll that inspiration while I'm at it here. Yeah, 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 yeah. All your all y'all yeah. scrubs need to do chin ups. It's a one. It's a one d eight. Yes. I was gonna give some to Gaijin uh, before he. Rolled, That'd be nice. So. That'd be nice. Could what? I possibly do that? Yeah, I'd say you could. Well, okay. unfortunately, t- 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 uh, Chris, I mean, Cito just rolled his. So, unfortunately, now, now you can't. No, not at this point. That so, means. Yeah, earlier right, next so, time. It's okay. Athletics? Yeah, athletics. Yeah. I wish I could use my grappling hook. Okay. 12. Uh, everybody but Abby and Greckles <laughs> as, <laughs> as, is able to make your way up. At first, it's like, okay, whatever. And uh, the problem is, Abby, you've never climbed something like this ever before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is this is so new to you. You're just like, what am I doing? Um, Greckles, I'm echoing. Oh, I'm echoing through you, Shampai, actually. Okay. Like, I can hear myself through your microphone. Oh, wait, can you? Oh, shit, yeah. sorry. Yeah. Oh, sorry. No worries. I imagine, I imagine there's so many weird knobs and curves oh, yeah. and twists that's like, oh, what do I grab? Yeah, and like at one point you grab one and it like swings open, like it swings like a like a door, and you're like, Ugh. Ugh. like it's very strange. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. It feels I like miss- an amalgamation of a bunch of different projects kind of smashed together. It's oh, very, I miss very the strange. piping in Alavast. <laughs> yeah, you at first like it's like all right, we're climbing. Then you get like part of the way, and you're like, oh, we're climbing for a while. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, I'm gonna say everybody. We're gonna do another set of athletics checks. Okay. Can I bardic inspiration now? Yes, you can. Yeah. I will bardic inspiration Greckles. Okay. I'll um, I'll be like Greckles, grab my hand. Money. You would, can do it. <laughs> would Would the grappling hook be of any use in this instance? Not really. No. Okay. Because parts are inconsistent, and this also acrobatics. I mean, acrobatics helps for a short while. This is just endurance. Mm. Yeah, it's endurance. Yeah, what a thrill. So, athletics again from everybody. Oh, boy. 14. I'll do my best. Wow. (laughs) Wow. You have a a D8 to roll, so. I don't think that's going to save me, but okay. (laughs) It'll, you know. Five. All right, I'm reloading. I'm reloading right now. So, okay. 13. So Jesus. as everybody is climbing, uh, at one point, Greckles, like, kind of scrambles up this clock face, and the two, like, um, arms on the clock, I'm probably saying the wrong word, but the two needles on the clock, he grabs onto one of them, and it snaps, and he falls backwards. Abby, you extend your arm out, and you catch him before he falls, and <gasps> kind of bring him back to the wall. <gasps> careful, careful, careful! Oh, is it sorry. a long fall from where we are? Oh yeah, it's yeah. like hundreds of feet at this point. <laughs> Guys, how, how, how much how much further do how much further do we have to go? Does it look like as Just... you look as you look down, you can't see the ground anymore, and as you look up, you can't see the top. Good. Well, <laughs> well gosh. <laughs> I'll 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 sort of I'll sort of walk I'll sort of climb back down, and I'll be like Greckles, take my hand. Or Greckles, oh, stay near me. Oh, I'm trying, Panic. I really am. I'm not used to climbing well, this long. Can I somehow? Okay. Can I somehow help him push him like above me? Uh, yeah, you can help him out and just kind of shove yeah. him above you. Yeah. Think there's anything that would help with this. I'll, I'll just the the next check. I'll be ready to grab Greckles if he if he falls. Okay. Oh. 
right, I'll, 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 basically, I'll, I'll, I'll basically be readying an action to, to grab him. As you guys continue, uh, you guys are sweating. Unless you're Obby, because you don't have sweat glands. But the rest of you yeah. are hot. Um, <laughs> I'm and... not going to lie. This isn't the best thing to do. Is to climb oh. the tallest thing ever after getting your ass beat by a robot after working in your smelter all day. I'm a little bit tuckered out, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you and me both. Yeah? Big guy. Well, my muscles are just for show. Why don't we hang up? I don't even use mine. At least you have muscles. I think what? I just got hollow bird bones. You do! But look how scrawny they are, Borky. Just like Greckles is getting Greckles is getting delirious. <laughs> you just you're just a, you, you guys, just look like a, you just you guys have been climbing for Task, almost. How like... are you doing? Task is laser focused, doesn't give a fuck. Oh. Task? Going up. Task? Nope. Nope. I'm going. Task? He's he just in looks the up zone. as he keeps crawling. Task? <laughs> Keep uh, moving! As you guys are moving, the pendulum begins to shift. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, no, hang no, on! No, 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 you guys no, no. hold on, and you begin to feel it begin to move. Oh, oh shit. Go faster! All right, you guys begin to scramble up. Uh, again, another set of athletics checks. Oh, oh I'm, no. I'm, I'm going to lock. I'm going to lock myself in place and just be ready to catch Greckles. <laughs> Thirteen. Oh, oh my god! god. Oh, <laughs> like I knew I would need to. <laughs> Roll twenty. Whoa! <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, 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 I'm sorry, listen. I clipped the audio super hard. <laughs> I. So, oh, oh, hoggers. So, so Gaijin got a natural, Greckles got a natural one, and Abby got double natural 20 on both sides. Can I have one of those, please? <laughs> so, this is what happens. As the uh, pendulum begins to swing very slowly, uh, and you guys make your way up, uh, the shifting of the movement causes a section of the actual pendulum itself to snap off. Greckles falls very quickly and ta and panic. You do grab him, but you lose your footing. I, as, a yeah, result, I, I, you I, as soon as I, as soon as I see Greckles lose his balance and fall off the thing, I leap off and I catch him. And oh, as you're and catching and you see the abyss below, you feel a sharp grab as Obby, you like, you like squat, like squeeze your legs together on a certain part and hook them mm -hmm. around a piece, and you've caught both of them. It was by grabbing Panic's legs and let Panic, you were just <sighs> dangling upside down with Greckles in your arms. <sighs> I got you. Oh, oh my God! Oh. Well, who's carrying me? <laughs> you two need to be more careful. Oh, I'd love to. Man, I, no, I'm, I'm, just, I, I'm gonna say I above game. Covered, but thank you. I'm gonna say above game. I miss taking tens back in <laughs> three five so bad. <laughs> You guys manage to, like, awkwardly, but eventually get back on track, climbing up. But as it is, and you guys continue to climb for what feels like another hour, you notice now as the pendulum is reaching the edge of the wall. Ooh. And the wall is very tight. Like, if this thing hits the wall, you're not staying on this thing. Then we keep I'll just, going. Yeah, I'll just be ready. I'll I'll be ready on, on Greggles to... Um... If he if he falters again, I will just have an action ready to brace him. Essentially, I'll 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 leap after him. Okay. This is so embarrassing. Just by the way, in character, <laughs> he's like You're tired he, though. Like, well, this, this, this is a strength thing. It's not a it's not a dexterity thing. It's a strength. Oh, yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. I know, I know, but this is the climby boy. It's just he's never had to climb anything for this long, and he's not super endured. So at, I'm a monk. At this, You're not a at monk. This, at this point, you guys are stopping every few minutes to, like, breathe. Because oh. not only are you guys huh. climbing up, but the elevation is getting higher, too. The air is getting thinner for those who breathe. Um, and it is getting harder and harder and harder to climb. When I get up this fucking thing and I have to speak to Oriara, I'm going to have some really choice fucking words. Task, please shut up. You're breathing all of our air. 
Hey, you think they got silver up top here? I'm looking for no. silver, you see. Sure, Porky. That Traddick, could be you worse, doing Traddick. okay? Hey, Paddock, it could be worse. We'd be calling it well beneath the ground and even lower below that. Are you referencing the time it went to the realm of Discord? Yes, fuck you. I think this is worse. So fuck no. you, actually. No, fuck Both you. of you, stop talking. Stop wasting oxygen. <sighs> Analyzed. Uh, Task, you need to see something up ahead with your eyes. There's something up ahead. We found an end. Light. Moonlight. Strong. Climb. Climb, damn it. Last athletics checks. Come on, Gregos. Come on. Oh, oh boy. Well, it's literally a straight oh, roll. Oh, oh, 15. 11. Thank God. Ooh. I saw that I saw that three and I started to panic. Twelve! Thirteen. Okay. Oh. 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 This I got you this time. I'm 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 just ready. I'm yeah, I'm ready to catch anybody at this point. <laughs> yeah, as you guys are climbing up, you watch as Obby loses their footing and you guys both catch Obby and just kind of bring Shit. it back. Mm, come on! Oh, you're so heavy! As you guys eventually reach the top, you begin to feel something hit your face. Uh, task, just like... Ah, ah, ah! <laughs> uh, it is rain. Oh. Oh, that's kind of refreshing, uh, actually. Uh, Borky just falls on his back and opens his mouth. <laughs> We're not up the top yet. Uh, you guys managed to eventually uh, reach the top of the pendulum uh, and uh, climb up past it to a uh, flat surface high above the sky, the stars in millions of bright shimmering colors, and the moon gazing back at you, Ilune's eye staring at you. That, that's pretty and all, but I want to make sure my teammates actually get up here, so I'm going to get ready to fucking give assistance the moment they get up here. Yeah, you guys managed to help yeah. each other up onto the edge. And now Borky falls down on his back. Are we good? Yeah, we collapse. Right. There's no yeah. uh, uh, is there anywhere that I can hide under <laughs> from the uh, rain? No, it is actually completely open here. Shit. It is a hill. It rolls upwards, and everything, the ground is pure silver. Ooh. Your silver, Borky. Oh, there it is. There it is, sweet, delicious silver pork. He's like licking the silver to get the moisture <laughs> off it. Uh, <laughs> uh, as you're licking the silver, your tongue hit hits something. Actually, it, like kind of catches somewhere. <clears throat> like a like a little crevice. <laughs> what did Borky's <laughs> tongue find? Uh -huh. As you what? use your tongue to kind of probe at the crack, a, <laughs> <laughs> a oh. perfectly. <laughs> Let me explain. A perfectly <laughs> symmetrical, perfect gear lifts off of the, the mountain. What? It's a perfectly <laughs> symmetrical gear that was, like, slotted into the mountain. Is it floating there? No, it's not floating. It's just he lifted it off using his tongue, and he kind of just pulled it out from there. Huh? Is, is it uh, made of silver? How it tiny is, is pure, it? It's made of pure silver. It's about the size of, like, a, uh, um, a drink coaster, I'd say. There's your oh. silver. I did it! I did it! And all I needed to do was my sense of taste. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, you hear a noise where the gap is. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Borky put... As you look down, you see more gears beneath that, all twisting in motion. Were they moving before we got up here? <laughs> you don't know. Ugh. <sighs> Oh, it's cra it's crazy. up here, Borky, Task, we, Abby, Greckles. Yeah, we're we're good. Yeah, we here. Okay, <sighs> Greckles, are you okay? I never want to do that again. As soon as we get back to Alvis, I gotta start weight training. We gotta make a second trip back <laughs> down, friend. Uh, no. What? I, I would know. Task. I would rather roll down this mountain. We're f we're finding another way around. I think just, just jump off and do a double jump right when you get to the ground. Task stands up and looks <laughs> the, around. We're, 
where we're messing with gods. The least Oriara can do at this point is give us some fucking umbrellas or something. The uh, lightning crackles and snaps over the sky. Panic uh -huh. stop with that. <laughs> stop talking, panic. That's not a good oh, shot. Oh, right, that you heard? <laughs> Does the rain do anything to me, or is it just just not affecting me? No, you're waterproof. Okay, sweet, good. It does it does sizzle around your mouth and your eyes though a little oh, bit. Oh, sweet. Yeah, like you got some you got some steam kind of coming yeah. off of you a little bit. Uh, Where, where's the one called Robald? Uh, you notice that there is a like a, a incline heading upwards, and at the peak you see just like even without with the moonlight that you have, you see a shimmering precipice. Oh, more up. Why is it more up? Panic will be, will be, as he catches his breath, he'll be uh, getting onto his knees and slowly getting to his feet and picking everybody else up. Okay. Foot. Everybody, come on. Foot. I think foot. there is no danger. Don't say that. No, you, you, I like you, Obi. But when you say that, that's when something bad happens. I'm, I'm talking about falling off. Oh, oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> no. Well, listen, listen, we don't have to worry about falling off. If someone falls off, I will catch you and we will get back on track, okay? I mean, you know, I can do the whole, I can do the whole, and then I'm in a different location, right? The you know, last time mentioned. you caught someone, I had to save you. Huh? When you tried to save Greckles, I caught you. Oh, yeah. Thanks for that, by the way. Uh, I had it covered, though. By jumping? Yeah. It, it, really? Ob Obby, it's okay. <laughs> don't, don't don't worry about it. He, he's a tricksy guy. Oh, I, okay. I'm mad. Yeah, I got all the magic, dude. It's crazy. Oh, oh dude. <laughs> dude. Dude, it's crazy. I got this magic and stuff. Wow. Oh, wow, Panic. Wow, Panic. Your shit pouring out your ears because you're so full of it a little bit, I think. Oh, my. Uh... Okay, I will not catch you next time. I'm surprised. To... <laughs> exactly. Thank you very much. I appreciate oh, this the is, face. This is the getting over it of mountain trekking. I'm surprised <laughs> that little me's aren't falling out of my ass because I'm so full of myself. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's uh, get going. The fucking staircase. <laughs> All right, there's no staircase. It's just like a smooth texture. It's very weird. It's almost Ugh. like it's super weird. Um, it, it's slippery. I would imagine a smooth. It's slick. Is it like it's marble? Slick. It's silver. It's like rounded silver. Okay, so it's stairs made of metal. That's not terribly. Is it slippery? Uncommon. It's not slippery, no. Okay, good. Good. Like it's, it's it's not like curved where it's gonna be a problem. It's flat, but it's like a very okay. subtle uh, incline. Okay. I'm, I'm just imagining a sharp incline right now, like one of those <laughs> one of those Super Mar one of the, one of those Mario Kart games with a really sharp edge. Oh. It's like an actual water slide. As you guys move up, you notice there is some stuff in within the train. It's very clean, but there are a few things that kind of stand out. Uh, as you guys make your way ahead. The rain does make visibility a little bit shitty, but um, you do notice that there are very large, like, gears up here um, and very intricate. We're talking gears within gears. Does it, look like, does it look like we're silver. in a crater at all? Uh, no, you're on the rim of a crater. Oh. Oh. Uh -oh. That's when I told her this game was a few gears short of a mechanism. I need everybody to make a dexterity saving throw for me. No! Oh, 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 oh. Except I'm actually oh, 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 oh. I get, Wait, 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 wait. Do I see it I'm, coming? I'm good at oh. these. I'll be, I'll be ready to help somebody else. Oh! Yeah, so my 13. danger sense does not 19. help. Your danger sense does not go off. Yeah. Oh, God. Natural 20. So I'll be 19. ready to help somebody who fails. Four! <laughs> You're oh, going to no. help Abby. <laughs> uh, Abby, Abby, Abby. The ground shifts as each of the gears on the surface, like what Borky lifted up, shifts completely. Whoa. The entire surface top of this mountain is a gear set. Oh. And as the whole thing shifts, you hear <laughs> below you. Do we feel it? Oh yeah, it's rich shaking. Is like the ground opening up and stuff? Nope. 
It's with, just literally all the little gears you guys are standing on top of, which is all suddenly shifted in one direction, and your guys' feet just kind of got spun around without any you I, know, warning. Uh, do I, do I fall I, under? I got a natural 20, so can I use my amazing success to help Abby? Yes, you may. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'll, 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 have, I'll have Abby by the arm. Yep. Yep. I'm pretty great. Yep. Well, thank you all. See, this is why say I have situations I need it. Thank you. Uh-huh. I'm gonna roll a perception check to see if there's Or any... even now. God damn it, eight. It's raining. It honestly makes a lot of sense. There's a lot of stuff in the way. How? Um the visibility it's dark and even with the with the moonlight, the rain is making it very, very hard to move. The flashes of lightning also add to the visual clutter as you make your way forward. Um, eventually you do, though, and you see a statue standing on the sort of flat precipice, sort of almost like um, altar kind of area, I would say. All right. It uh, is a, probably a six or actually I'd probably say seven foot tall kobold statue, actually. Oh. Made of oh. glass and metal. Huh. Uh, I will walk up to the statue, I guess. Okay. Uh, as you walk up to the statue, the glass part is kind of the stomach section. Uh, that kind of starts where, sort of, uh, if you if you touch your own body, where, like, your uh, rib, like, your uh, lungs, like, the ribs around your lungs would stop. Yes. Uh, the belly part, kind of to the abdomen, uh, is glass. Um, the arms are, like, silver, gold, uh, the head is silver gold. The eyes are like gold rimmed. Um, and then as you get closer, inside of the glass part is liquid and organs. Oh, oh fuck. Great. Where's the coin slot to activate Robold? There is none. <laughs> <laughs> the head rolls down and looks towards you. Oh, oh, okay. Roll bold, I assume. You have a penance for getting into trouble, it seems. Well, I do what I can. I am Robold, first mortal worshipper of Oriara in the material realm. Uh, Task of Iron Oath, and these are my companions, and I name off everyone. Task of Iron Oath, Borky the Orky. Yep. Greckles Birdman, though that is not your real name. <clears throat> huh? What? Virgil. No, I had that one legally changed. I'm panicked now. Very well. well to, be, to be fair... Thank you. To be fair, that is not my official title as well. I am Tarrasque. I know yours. I know yours, but I was not sure if you wanted your companions to know. They know. Very well. well. Wait, so you just threw Greckles under the bus like that? Yeah. He kind of kind of turns. Birdman. Under the carriage? It's not your last name. <laughs> Semantics. Abby, it is a pleasure to see you. H Hello. He like kind of like gets down on one knee. There is no need for that. We are brother and sister. He stands back up. S sorry. Do not apologize, but I am glad that you know how to. Log. Log is just like hi. Did we just forget that he's with us? Log has been silent this entire time. <laughs> Riding Borky's back. And that's the eeriest thing of all. Well, now that you're here, if you know our names, I assume you understand why we're here in the first place? I've always known. Is this voice familiar? Uh, roll a insight check, I guess. Okay. 18. Not at all. Okay, I was I was kind of like, wait, is this Aos? Just unstutter. Not, not at all. It's it's lower in tone. It's it's it sounds like someone literally took a cobalt, the like normal voice, and like pitch modded it down. 
Ah, uh, excellent. Body. Yeah. Okay. Well, then if you know why we're here, we need help. I don't know where where to begin, what to do, and time is short. Hmm. Time is not short. Time is endless. Before I let you through, I must know, what have you learned? Is this an open-ended question to everyone, or looking directly at task? Looking at task. Okay. In the grand scheme of things, there's no way for me to know. There's no way for me to ever stop learning something new. I've learned to accept that my past is going to remain as it is. I accepted that I have a second life now, and I don't want to lose it this time. You've accepted the past. You are present in the future. Present in the present. Apologies. In the future is unknown to you. It's Once always going to be unknown. You say that now. Once you enter this place, you will not come out the same. No better person to have it done to, then. I'd rather my companions stay the way they are. No. They are wanted, too. Besides, we're not going to let you go in there alone. We made it this far with you together. Very well. There's no going back, then, I suppose. If this means the end of Darkus and... The avenge of my family and the continuation of my current one, then I'm all for it. Tarask of Ironoth. I just stare at him. This involves power, a greater threat than Darkus. For the greater good, then, I suppose. Though it's foreign to me now, I suppose it will be made very well clear in time. In time. He steps back and you see a grandfather clock. That stands about ten feet tall. He just and turned into one, or...? Nope, he's been standing in front of one. Oh, okay. And he stands back and points towards it. Uh, I, I get closer to the clock. There is a latch and a door where the pendulum swings. Panic will walk up behind him. Crickles falls in suit. I place Ready my hand. You are, little guy. Place my hand on the door. I look back at everyone. Robald looks towards you. By doing this, you've cemented their fate. At least I know they accepted it with me, and I open the door. All right. And this isn't the first time we've saved the world. As you guys open the door and descend inside, that's where we're going to the session for today. Yeah! Ah, yeah. Ah. Bye, Austin. So, like, Bye, Austin. Austin. so this guy is seven feet, uh, a seven foot tall kobold? Seven foot tall robot kobold. By the way, I'm just going to shout out right now. Uh, shout out to my friend, Darian, uh, also known as Gaius, uh, also known as Nunes hey. on Twitter. He's got way too many names. Uh, the whole... Cobalt art, like inventor thing, is kind of his thing. Uh, he oh. wrote that. It's always been a thing that he did, and I, I asked him if it was cool if I kind of took inspiration from it, including Robald, who is an actual character from his campaign. Oh. Um, and he was totally all for it. So shout out to my my friend. Hell yeah! Also known as What's he, up, Darian? He uh, he uh, he helped me out with that, and I really appreciate it because it was a lot of fun to to kind of like take his idea and then kind of do my own little spin on it. So yeah. Very neat. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye, Dexter. Oh, wait. Dexter? I know. I'm just saying something else. One, two, seven. No, I missed it, too. Mm -hmm. I know, right? We got a lot of people we got to thank. But first of all, we got to give a shout out to our guest star, Shenpai. Shenpai, where can oh. they find you? Oh, God. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah, here we go again. <laughs> I see. <laughs> it's kind of a regular thing we do here. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I, pass, I, I, I like passed you the ball. And you're like, oh, oh, how do I hold the ball? Uh, I like, I constantly like throw it around. Like, no, <laughs> no. Uh, you can find me at twitchtv slash Empire. Most of all, I stream uh, almost every day. Uh, you can also find me on YouTube slash 
Arrowvero, and on Twitter at Arrowvero. Uh, I do a lot of art. I do a lot of video games. I play a lot of 14, and I talk a lot about my own story, um, which I am working on right now. Unfortunately, it hasn't updated in a while, but uh, hopefully I'll get the ball rolling again soon. Um, and I've had a lot of fun here. Yee! Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. yeah. Mm. Ooh. Oh my! Hey, Connor, where can they That's find me. you? Well, you can find me on Twitter, TikTok, and Twitch at Distortion Devil. Uh, I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, Tuesday is RAW slash Ring Fit Adventure. Friday is Friday Funhouse, where I play a lot of fun games with my friends. Saturday is Bayonetta. We're playing through that game. It's a whole lot of fun so far. And Sunday is Devil May Cry 5 mods. And earlier in the evening on Friday, about 2 o'clock Central Standard Time, uh, I will be on twitch.tv slash deadhouse sonata, D E A D H A U S sonata. Uh, and we will be talking about their game, the spiritual successor to the Legacy of Kane. Uh, the most important video game series to me. Uh, and also, I am officially affiliated through uh, with with the game. And if you use this link that I am posting in the chat right now to buy a Founders Pack, you'll not only be supporting me, but you'll also be supporting this amazing upcoming game. And I would appreciate it a whole lot. Absolutely. Hey! Zito, where can I find you, man? Uh, hi. You can find me over at twitch.tv slash Zito, CZ Backlash on Twitter, and the Ever Ingot Almanac on Patreon. Uh, video games will occur. A marble stream has to happen because there's just no fucking way that we're going to get repeats of the same levels after two weeks of not playing marbles. What are the chances? I can't wait for the 69 fucking Deadpool levels I'm going to find. Uh, you can also... <laughs> fucking find me uh working on rivals of atheist sprites but i took a break from that because i have a patreon where people expect me to make homebrew stuff i kind of took a little bit of a hiatus off that because every time i work on the fawn crawford fucking reminds me on twitter that theros is happening so malu redux is being made right now All righty. Hey, Gaijin Goomba, where can they find you, dude? Hey, you can find me at twitch.tv slash Gaijin Goomba. Uh, I uh, have another port. Well, same announcement. I'm really tired. Um, thanks to you guys, the uh, homebrew Tanuki race over on DM Skilled hit Electrum, which I did not expect. Uh, and it's doing really good. I want to thank you guys for supporting that and Zito for uh, senpai me into success. Uh, yeah. Other than that... Um, I stream Tuesday, Saturday, and Sunday. Tuesday is Taiko Tuesday, as always. Uh, I'm actually busting out some traditional instruments, though, and doing a couple of um, uh, examples. I can't think of the word. Uh, so that's been a heck of a lot of fun. Saturday and Sunday. Saturday is kind of the off day of playing whatever's popular. And then Sunday, good old Rising Sunday, is where I try to find something high fantasy Japan and kind of go for it. I might have to start finding some older games, though, because I'm running out of the new stuff. That is until Ghost of Tsushima comes out or that Neo 2 DLC. Uh, other than that, uh, I'm working on an overly long video uh, breaking down as much culture as I can find that inspired the one, the only Spirited Away. And uh, I did some research, and I think Studio Ghibli is kind of leaving people alone now. I've actually seen a couple of videos up where they're still up. So I'm, I'm going to run the gauntlet and see it stick. Oh, oh, by the way, we have a new emote over on my... Over on my uh, over my Twitch, so yeah, that that's that's it. All righty, Monty, where can they find you? Hi, you can find me at uh, at Monty Glue on Twitter. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Where tomorrow at I believe like six or seven p.m., uh, probably hopefully six. Um, Connor and I are playing through Devil May Cry. I've never played Devil May Cry before. Yeah. I'm God, Connor. I, Connor sounds so uh, happy. Yeah. I'm very excited. <laughs> um, look, Connor's watching my favorite anime, and I'm about to play Connor's favorite game series. It's kind of like a trade-off. It's a um, trade-off. Exactly. Mutually beneficial arrangement here. I can't <laughs> wait for the one cutscene who's like, why couldn't I fill your dark heart with light? Or whatever it is. Like, with I light! <laughs> <laughs> um, I do what. 
I've, I've seen very little of the game, so it's going to be very, very fun. Um, and Connor will be helping me out with chat and everything, so that way I, I don't see spoilers and things like that. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, no, uh, definitely check that out. And then Sunday is uh, Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. We're at the final part of the game, which isn't saying much because the final part of the game, the game is really like end loaded. So we still have a lot to go through. Um, and also, I forgot to mention before, if you guys want more D&D, &D, uh, definitely check out Saturday uh, at twitch.tv forward slash here um the prince division we just had a pretty really good episode and i'm really happy with how the episode went so i'm really really excited for this upcoming session because i think it's gonna be pretty fun so yeah it's modern fantasy oh. D. yeah uh you can find me at twitch.tv slash takahata 101 where we are updating uh the gaming schedule we got some more asmr radio which will be a lot of fun as well we're gonna be doing some xcom 2 the longerest war we're, we're, we're cranking that game so full of mods it's never going to turn on uh, <laughs> and every time it starts up 2k i'm like oh oh god it, it's like always like a warning it's like a like, like a ha hazmat symbol almost like your car your, your fucking computer coughs and the dvd slot opens up <laughs> <laughs> every damn time i swear but tomorrow we have we're on the road to multivania myself uh Myself and Edward Bosco will be doing a joint show in a couple of weeks here. But every Thursday afternoon, we have a lot of fun with our community-generated wrestling show where we let the AI take control and everyone role plays. And one thing that we've been doing that's been new is people have been writing and recording their own promos now. And I've been playing them on stream. Wow. Yeah, the people that, like that, being... that actually helps out a whole. I really, you. I really would like if one person was just like, oh yeah, here, there, yeah, it's fight. <laughs> There is there there is like I'll, I'll say this there's a couple voice actors now who are now voicing for multiple characters, and ah. it's 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 really it's really interesting what's happened. So uh, that's tomorrow at uh around one o'clock. So yeah, that's yeah indeed that's Orange Cassidy. You just you just you just said Orange Cassidy essentially. Oh okay well. That's the wrestler whose gimmick hey, is apathy. Hey man, let's fight. <laughs> Him trying was a pay per view event. Let's just say that. <laughs> okay. uh, but yeah, anyways, guys, that's it for me here. But uh, we have a lot of bits to call out here real fast. Not that many. Uh, again, we'd like to thank Blue Kios for the 200,000 bits. Uh, yeah, I know, right? 200,000 bits from Blue Kios 445. Thank you so much to the Light Ward for an additional uh, 10,000 bits. Sorry, 20,000 bits. There Sorry. we go. Uh, I apologize. <laughs> Uh, we also would like to thank Epic Lunch at 34 for the 1500 bits. I just got home after working a 13 and a half hour shift. Can't watch the rest of the stream because I have morning shift tomorrow and I need sleep. Catch you all in the archive. Well, thank Ooh. you, Epic Lunch 34, for the 1500 bits and try and have lunch. Sorry. Epic Lunch 34. I imagine Lovely. it's like a normal lunch, but has like a cool hat. No, it's it's all it's Cat. bold. It's bold. The oh. font is bold. <laughs> Lovely Lorelei 51 with a thousand bits. Episode title The Pendulum Swings. Oh, too shabby. Lovely Lorelai, 51. Thank you so much for the 1,000 bits. Cane time with the 1,500 bits. Jimmy, two games a week can be hard. I took a nap after today's game with the sound of Tass screaming as a lullaby. Great game tonight. <laughs> we, need a, we, do need a, we do need an episode name, though. I haven't seen any. Like, I've only seen I it. Getting saw, over it. Nuts and I, Dolts. Nuts and Dolts. I saw, I saw someone Nuts and Dolts is pretty good. That's pretty oh, good. man. No one likes <laughs> the indie game polls. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> See, uh, side, side TV with 500 bits. I'll just leave it here once more. Nuts and Dolts as the episode title. Damn it, I just read that. That was the last bit drop. <laughs> okay, so uh, and so guys, from all of us here at the Unexpectables, thank you so much. And Nadine, take us home. Uh, who do we want to raid? Uh, Octo's on. Oh, yeah. He ah, he's famous. We don't need anything. He doesn't... He's playing Dissidia. We haven't no, let's not, sub let's, not sub let's not subject people to that. But that's might have Zidane in it or Terra. No. Good Final no. Fantasy characters. No, oh, those, those, they're they're, ter they're all terrible. Uh, Name one good Final we've Fantasy got the man. Six. Therapod no. hey, art. Good Final Fantasy man. Albert Steiner, my good friend. That's true. He's the only one though. Got He's the only one. Therapod yeah. art. Who is Pods up. Currently in the process of watching the episode. We rated him last time with the Prince Division, though, I believe. We have uh, Varric Keldoon, who is also an affiliate for the thing that I am affiliated with. Ooh, the Unexpectables is We screaming. rated him last. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, those guys are assholes. I think, I think that, let's do Octopimp. It's been a while since we've rated yeah. Octopimp. Yeah. 
right. playing Dissidia, Final Fantasy. I mean, he was he was a character in Unexpectables too. He we should some love. He's just a character in general. Yeah, that's but, fair. Uh, ish. What what, are, what should our raid message be for Octo? I already I I just resubscribed to him by saying Ray Octo. F U Octo is that what you yeah. said? I I I would say Octo, you've been replaced. Oh God. Whoa. Sorry, Shenpai, we're, we're putting you on blast. <laughs> what? <laughs> no! All right. New best friend, hashtag new best friend, Abby. My fr friendship hashtag. ended with... <laughs> friendship, friendship ended with Zenryo. Friendship Zenrio. ended with Zenryo. Oh. Now Abby is my new best friend. <laughs> <laughs> All right, say whatever it is you want to say. We're raiding Octopim. Get out of here, you rapscallions. Thanks Later, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.